broke up, right? No. Oh, yeah, it is. Uh, I'm going to check the live stream if it pops up. <laughs> Saw what he did? Yeah, with the, the beer. Bigs. You know, a lot of guys would be like beer gang and shit. Mm -hmm. Coming back, the old spirit. Fire up the place, huh? Shalom, shalom, fire up the place. Okay, okay. Okay. I guess I'll start. Yeah, All right, so, um, yeah, man. <clears throat> so, uh, we're going to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh, Shad, Basham, and Kakadash. Double honesty to the apostles, the others are great millstone that teach and rule well among many other things. And peace and salutations to the elect that are scattered abroad on the four, uh, four winds of this earth, pushing his truth and sincerity. Shalom. 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 So we out here again, man, and um, we're getting closer and closer to the end, man, of this whole world that we're living in. Okay? Esau Edom, the so-called white man, <laughs> you know, as uh, I want to say, Fraggle Rock Kingdom is uh, going down, man. You know, while people right now are enjoying, you know, a bit of sunshine, you see a bit of the chemtrails. A bit of sunshine? It's cold as shit, man. It's freezing, man. Yeah, cold as hell. Y'all have two pants on? No. Me neither, man. I feel my legs. Is cold. Hey, I have two you know? shirts, though. Yeah, me too. I have two shirts. Two shirts. That, the thermal and the yeah. sweater. I got, I got the thermal pants on and shit, so, you know, I come prepared. You know, I got the, the chicken legs. <laughs> uh, grab me, grab me, um, grab me, uh, Habakkuk chapter 2. Revelation 12 and 12. Uh, yeah, yeah, yep, yep. We're going to grab that uh, later on. Grab me Habakkuk chapter 2 and uh, start in verse 4. Lion. Give me, um, um, uh, first Maccabees chapter 1. Uh, start on top. You know what I mean? You want me to read going, going back to Esau, because the most I put Esau... Uh, uh, into rulership, which is the so-called white man, you know? So, uh, grab me, um, we want read, read uh, Maccabees really quick first. This is, uh, the book of First Maccabees, chapter 1 and verse 1. Right, because, you know, so the, the so-called white man, Esau, Edom, which is his real nationality, okay, was put up into power by the Heavenly Father, okay? It wasn't just him, grab me Daniel's, um, and I think it was uh, 17, mm -hmm. he set up the basis of men. Mm -hmm. um, he put up the so-called white man into power, man, okay? Um, which they say that uh, 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 civilization has uh, started with the Greeks, but that's far from the truth, man, okay? Because you had, you had uh, uh, mighty kingdoms before that that were very beautiful. For example, you had uh, uh, Babylon. That was a very beautiful kingdom in that time, man. That was eaten off of uh, gold, golden uh, uh, tables and plates and stuff like that, okay? But look at the kingdom that we're in, man. <laughs> this is not a great kingdom at all, man. That's why the vision in the book of Daniel showed the head of Babylon was gold, but then the, the, the chest was silver, mm -hmm. then the thigh was brass, so you see that the- The level, the quality. The, the quality of the kingdom went down over the years. Right. You understand? Because right. it started off with gold. And <coughs> if you watch this movie, The Eternal, did you watch it? Not yet. He's saying that for two years now. Eh? <laughs> Every time I talk about this movie, I, I'm going to ask you, did you yeah, watch Angelina it? Angelina Jolie with the... The Eternals, they show you the kingdom of Babylon. And they actually remade this this um, famous temple that they had um, in, that, in that movie, man. Right. And uh, you had statues of gold and all of that stuff, man. Going yeah. on. Right. Read it. This is First Maccabees, chapter 1, verse 1. And it happened after that Alexander, the son of Philip, the Macedonian, who came out of the land of Chittim, yeah. had smitten Darius, king of the Persians, mm -hmm. and the Medes, and he reigned in his stead first over Greece. So he was the first to take over first Edomite to come and conquer these nations, man, okay? He took over, which was 
Grecians? The brass. Yeah, the brass. Yeah, silver, yeah. It was brass right here. Okay? So Alexander was the first to take over, man. Okay, if you re continue reading, I'll hold it. Which is a leopard. Yeah. And what did he have on his head? He had like a leopard a skull on his head. Yeah, a leopard, ha leopard helmet. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yep. Yep. And made many wars and won many strongholds yep. and slew the kings of the earth. See? He slew the kings of the earth. Go ahead. And went through the ants. Uh, it's like and went to the went damn. and went through to the ends of the earth and took spoils of many nations mm -hmm. insomuch that the earth was quiet before him. Yep, the earth was every nation was afraid of him, man. Because he was what? He was destroying all these kingdoms, man. Taking over. Robbing them, right? Rape, rob, and murder. That's what Esau's MO is. That's what he has been doing since the beginning, man. That's why they were afraid, you know? That's Esau, Edom, uh, living by the sword, okay? And and the thing is, is that when you want to understand the scriptures, you also need to go into history because this lines up perfectly with history. Lines up perfectly with history, okay? That's why it's very important to, to know the uh, 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 geo, geograph? Geography. Geography, right? History, right? Secular history. Secular history. That way you get a better perspective of what is written in the scriptures. So you can see how, how the people, the mindset, and how they used to uh, uh, present themselves, how they speak, mannerisms, okay? You would understand better. So that way when you read the scriptures, that's the Bible, you get a better understanding of what's going on. Why are you shaking your hand, man? You're not allowed to shake my hand. I can shake it for you too, dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Because if you, oh, go ahead. as if you look, because <laughs> if you look upon this earth, you know there are so <coughs> many nations upon this earth, and all these nations have a certain, you know, history, you know, that goes back to, you know, way before our time, man. So also a lot of things happened at the same time upon this earth, which we like. So you know, the Vikings, you know, around the 800s, we like like a thousand but during that time also other things happened man. you know it's like the brother said it's very important to know the history geography and secular history because that that uh, gives you more of a, a focus on, on on the biblical history as well man yeah man you got a precept right. this is uh daniel 7 verse 6 after this i be held and lo another like a leopard which had upon the back of it four wings of a fowl, the beast had also four heads, and dominion was given to it. So like the brother was uh, going into, you know, uh, Alexander the, the creep, you know, he had a, a leopard a helmet, and the scripture here is speaking about a leopard, you know, this, that leopard is referring to uh, Alexander the creep. And yeah, he has- it's, uh, it's also very spiritual because if you understand also in the scriptures, it talks about that eagle. Yep. And Esau uh, uh, represented himself as an eagle. You can see that in the, in the Roman Empire. Yep. You know, the, 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 when Hitler from Germany was taken over, right? Also with America, you know? Yeah, and the leopard, you know, the scripture also speaks about a uh, uh, leopard shall watch over the city, and that's Esau, you know? That's yep. that uh, all seeing eyes somewhere, you know, hiding and yep. looking at you and uh, uh, wants to. Um, have everything uh, digitalized, you know, your face and everything so that he can see you. Um, he wants to be as the most high. Yeah. Um, you yeah. know, and, and the leopard, you know, the snow leopard, you don't see him, but he's watching you, man. Yeah. A snow leopard is rare to be seen in the mountains, man. Yeah. But he's watching you, man. You know, and that's Esau. Yeah. Black leopard also. All leopards. Yeah. But you know the... the, 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 the yes. The snow leopard is up in the mountains. And Esau is, is what? He dwelt in the, in the mountains and shit, you know? Yeah. He's at, uh, but the leopard, what are you reading? The, uh, the Daniel. That's why I was... Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this, this leopard... the Lord is a leopard too. The Mosai is a leopard too. Because the Mosai sees everything. Yeah. So Esau also wants to see everything. Yeah. That's yeah. why in the book of Jeremiah it says uh, he's like a leopard watching over the cities. Mm -hmm. That's That scripture is talking about how he's trying to tap into all kinds of technology cameras putting cameras throughout all the cities 
you know, to watch your ass, man. Yeah, that's exactly what I just said. Yeah. But you know, the thing is, with Esau, you know, he's carnal. So he has to use carnal devices like cameras and such with his technology, which really is not his, it was given on to him, to, to spy on the people. The most high is spiritual. It's much further than that. Stand on the sides. So uh, Daniel 7, 6. After this I beheld and lo, another, like a leopard, which had upon the back of it four wings of a fowl. The beast had also four heads and dominion was given to it. So this uh, leopard here specifically is speaking about Alexander the, the Greek. And uh, the four wings is speaking about his four uh, chiefs that he had. Seleucus, uh, Ant Antigonus, Cassander and uh, Ptolemy. No, it's, it's Lysimachus, Cassander, Ptolemy, and Seleucus. Antigonus. Yeah, he, he was the progenitor of uh, Lysimachus. No, Antigonus was taken down by Cassander, Ptolemy, uh, Lysimachus, and, uh, and Seleucus because he, was, he took the kingdom. But he wasn't supposed to have it. Seleucus was supposed to have it. Yeah. So Seleucus. Um, gathered them together and they fought <laughs> against Antigonus. They took down Antigonus and then uh, Seleucid split it amongst Cassander and Lysimachus. But Lysimachus and Cassander had to pay tribute to Seleucid. So Seleuc the Seleucid Empire was the Northern Empire, the Ptolemy Empire was the Southern Empire of Greece. Because they submitted onto him, I believe. Yeah. They didn't they want to have war because he was, he was messing everybody up. He was more up. powerful. Yeah. yeah. And then later on, he made war with uh, Ptolemy. Oh, uh, and his sons after that made war. That's why it says the kingdom of Greece became weaker because there was division. Exactly. Uh, yeah. uh, there's, there's Romans 15, verse 4. I got the, I got the dope of one now. For whatever things were written aforetime, were written for our learning, that we, through patience and comfort of the scriptures, might have hope. Right, so, you know, the things are written aforetime, are written for our learning, so that way we have a better understanding about what's going on. Because, for example, if, 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 you, if, you, wanna, if you wanna move forward, right, and, and have uh, progress, you gotta know where you come from, man. And, and the history is a very important thing. It's a very key element that, that uh, people need to apply, man. And you Christians, you ain't about that, man. You Christians ain't about that. Y'all about fucking folly, man. Okay? You know? That's how you know Christianity is full of shit, man. Because when you start to break down history uh, to them, according to the scriptures, they have no idea what you're talking about, man. Because the only thing they know is John 3.16, you know? And some other couple of scriptures concerning... Uh, uh, you know, uh, Gentile, right? But well, we know what it means, man. There's two types of Gentiles. Those uh, uh, of, of, of the, the seed of uh, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and those that are actually heathens, man. Okay? Go ahead, uh, back to uh, Maccabees. I also have the joke that you asked. Yeah, come on. Grab uh, Job, yeah, grab that real quick. This is Job chapter 9, verse grab, 24. Uh, and it reads, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof, if not where and who is he. Right, because you see right there, this is a time when the Heavenly Father had put these so-called white people in the power, which was the, Greece, the Greek Empire. Okay, Alexander, he came and he conquered. That's because that was the will of the Heavenly Father. He'd given the earth into the hand of the wicked, man. Okay? Um, also, uh, yeah, you got that scripture as well, but do you have that already? Uh, Second Maccabees 3 first. 48. You open up the, the book. The law. Yeah, but I think it's first. It's first Maccabees 3 or 48. This is first Maccabees 3 verse 48. And laid open the book of the law, wherein the heathen had sought to paint the likeness of their images. So there, there was already d busy doing this as well, in the in the in the Greek Empire. This shows you that you know the Most High had given the hand, uh, uh, the earth into the hand of the wicked, which is so-called white people. 
okay? Because when they came into power, evils multiplied upon earth. They were not the beginning of civilization because these motherfuckers never were civil, man. Okay, Esau Edom is a, is a brute beast, man. Okay, now that he conquered the whole earth, he want to use being politically correct and all these other terms to seem like he's civilized. But these cave monkeys were never civil when they took, took over the earth, man. That's why there's nothing but war and destruction right now as well. Because he held bent over blood, man. He loved to kill people, man, murder people. Can I say something? Okay, go ahead. Because uh, I was... Uh, this week I was listening to one of the artists that I like, which is Vinnie Pass, and he brought out his new album. And one of the album uh, tracks contains this song in which, you know, uh, a little bit about Anton LeVay, which is the, the chief priest of the Church of Satan. You know, they're explaining like, you know, because uh, uh, the word live backwards is evil. So therefore they live by you know, everything that is opposite, you know, to the Heavenly Father, man. And, you know, the things that pertain to Yahweh Bashan Yarshai brings forth life, man. You know, if you think about the law of commandments in itself, you know, which, you know, we cannot keep, of course, you know, due to our sinful nature. But if you think about... Yeah, but if you think about how the Heavenly Father, you know, set up those laws which were perfect, you know, they kept the earth in balance and, 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 and thriving and life, man. Yeah, man, because the laws are so perfect, man. The life, the animals, the vegetation, the people, it, it's, it's pure harmony, man. You know, it's like that beautiful song that you hear, man. And it, and it, and it fills you up with joy. You know, because then you ain't got to worry about evils. You ain't got to worry about your children out there in the streets, man. Yeah. Acting a fool. You wouldn't worry about your children out there in harm's way because there's a lot of wicked people out there, man. Perverted, sick-minded people that are predators, man. Okay? Because that evil would be taken out of here, man. <coughs> you know? And, and that's the thing because nowadays everybody wants to seem to be all righteous and all this other shit, but they will, they will keep a, a murderer... Uh, uh, behind bars for life. Hey, that dude is supposed to be put to death, man. Making him a perpetual slave, you know. Yeah, a perpetual slave. That's an evil thing to do. You know. Also, with a with a a, a, a P, you know. Yeah, predator. You know, a predator. He's supposed to be put to death, man. He's supposed to be coming out of jail and be like, now, now he's got to let the whole neighborhood. I'm here, living here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then, and then knock at everybody's door. Hi, my name is Peter, and I'm a predator. <laughs> no, that motherfucker's supposed to be put to death. And that's how you get rid of evil upon this earth. But guess what? That's how evils have multiplied because Esau Edom, the so-called white man, is ruling, man. But you know, then, under, you can't allow a predator in the, in, in the society, man. No, man. Because... He's gonna do it again. Yeah, he's gonna do it you again. Saw that video? Are you gonna are you gonna let your children play outside knowing there's a predator living in the neighborhood? Yeah. Now you become a prisoner or your child becomes a prisoner. Yes. Yeah. They have to stay inside. And it was a guy, he got he was caught. You know that the, 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 the guy with the camera and they'll set you up online. And this oh, yeah. and this guy, he get caught the first time. Yeah. They let him go. Later on, they catch him again. And he go running. Trying to run away. You know, they caught him again on, on fucking camera, man. On camera. This is how you know that this, hey, this place ain't right. There ain't no judgment being brought forth, man. And so these so-called white people, they want to act like they're God-fearing people. You, you are, you are a damn lie, man. Okay? You are, you are a damn lie, man. And you don't deserve to be on this earth, man. That's why the Most High is going to take your ass out. And you're going to serve varnish for a thousand years, man. And after that, you're gonna be erased off the, you're gonna be eradicated, man. It's a rightful thing, man. Okay? Maccabees? This is uh, first Maccabees, chapter one, and verse four. And he standing on the signs. And he gathers a mighty strong host. You know, it's done. No, uh, read the first one again. First one? Yeah, verse one again. This is first Maccabees, chapter one, verse one. And it happened after that Alexander the son of Philip the Macedonian, who came out of the land of Chittim, mm -hmm. had smitten Darius, right. king of the Persians and the Medes, mm -hmm. that he reigned in his stead, the first of the Greece. Right, go ahead. And made many wars and won many strongholds mm -hmm. and slew many kings of the earth. Right. And he conquered, went, so he conquered, right? And went true to the ends of the earth. Right. Because a lot of people, they think that, you know, 
uh, the Greek Empire started in Europe. No, they went conquering all the way to the so-called Middle East, all the way down to, uh, to Asia, all the way down into uh, uh, India. Yep. Okay, that's where they went to go conquer, man. That's why you see, that's why you see uh, 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 these East Indians so, uh, in, in, the, in the north more light-skinned because they've been raped so much. The, the Moabites, they used to have woolly hair. They, were never, they never had no straight, straight hair. They used to have woolly hair, man. But you gotta think about it. Where did it come from? It came from Lot, man. Yeah, and also in Daniel chapter 8, it says that the, the, the he goat moved with Charlotte towards the east. And, you know, from Greece towards the east, then you go towards uh, Asia Minor, okay, India. You go in that direction. But I believe the, um, the Himalayan mountains is what kind of stopped the Greek military to move forward. Rough terrain. Rough terrain, yeah. But then afterwards you had Marco Polo <clears throat> uh, with the Roman Empire making um, like, um, how you call those routes? Trade routes? Trade, trading routes that went all the way up to, uh, to um, China. And took many spoils of many nations, insomuch that the earth was quiet before him, right. whereupon he was exalted and his heart was lifted up. Now, this is the point. Grab me Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 4. This is Habakkuk 2, verse 4. Behold, his soul, which is lifted up, is not upright in him, but the just shall live by his faith. Right. And that, that. Read it again for me, Brother Michelle. Habakkuk 2, verse 4. Behold, a soul which is lifted up is not upright in him. So the soul that was lifted up was not upright in him. That was that was Alexander, man. You know, beginning with Alexander. When he got into power. You know, he, he was exalted and, and you know he was like, yes, I got the whole earth now beneath me. You know, you know how these Edomites are. You know, very carnal. You know? Uh 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 what do you say uh um <laughs> But, um, you know, so when he was brought into power, you know, that soul which is lifted up is not upright him because Esau Edom was never right, man. And it, it, he was always going off. You know, for example, when a time when um, there was a thing uh, with uh, uh, Isaac and, uh, uh, was it Rebecca, right? Rebecca, um, it was told to uh, Jacob, don't marry on to a Canaanite wife. What did Esau do? That's the first thing what he did. He went to go off and marry off with a, you know what I'm saying? He was always uh, uh, um, <laughs> going against the Going stream. against, man. Right, the rebellious. You know, rebellious. Always rebellious, yeah. Yeah, man. You know, it was, it was known not to eat meat with blood in it. He, but he didn't care. He, did, he despised it. He was like, man, I, what, what, is, what is this birthright got to do with me, man? I'm hungry, man. I'm about to die over here. Give me that. You know? That's, that's Esau, man. Okay? That's why he's in the stage that he is right now, man. Doing the same shit, man. That's why this whole earth is upside down, man. Messed up. You got people running around here messed up as well because of this wine, man. Everybody drunk, staggering around here spiritually, man. Don't know who the hell they are either concerning their nationality. Because you got uh, all these other nations as well calling themselves Chinese and Japanese and Arab and all these other... Uh, uh, proverbs and uh, byverbs as well, man. Okay, because that's what Esau does. Grab me. Um, Esau has actually named them. Yeah, exactly. That's what I mean. Yeah. Do do war, conquering them. Yeah, the heathens. They colonizing don't. them. For example, I believe um, Japanese. They don't call themselves Japanese. They have a different name for themselves. But, you know, and like Suriname also is it's a name given by Esau. Stuff like that. Yeah. He's all gave uh, our, our tribes uh, corporate names, you know, Puerto Rico and uh, things yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, Puerto Rico, Richport. Yeah. You know. So as time passed, and you had you had the, the Roman Empire that came, <laughs> took over, you know, destroying many nations as well, subduing them. Okay, that was at. Uh, grab that for me, uh, Dan. This is Daniel's. And, uh, what did I say? Daniel 4 and uh, 17 double. Yeah, grab that real quick. 
And then um, Daniel's uh, was at uh, chapter two. Uh, you want me to grab that? You yeah. want me to read one? Daniel's uh, um, about what? Rome came into power. That Rome came into power? Yeah, it was uh, the, the, the last leg of, uh, of, no, of the iron team. and clay. No, the, 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 the iron when he came in. He yeah, took Daniel over. seven. Daniel seven. Okay. Okay. Uh, but it all, it's also in uh, Daniel Stupid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one. Yeah, forty-two. Oh, oh no, that, that's, uh, that's the legs. The legs. That's now. But I'm talking about the, the legs. Rome when the first iron came legs. In, when yeah. he, this one, the brass. He was uh, mighty then too. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this is uh, Daniel four. Daniel seven. Daniel four for seventeen. This matter is by the decree of the watchers and the demand by the world. Salakia. This is uh, Daniel four for seventeen. This matter is by the decree of the watchers and the demand by the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living may know that the most high ruleth in the kingdom of men. Right, the living may know, meaning every person upon this earth, man. Okay, they should know that the most high have put these people in the power, man. Every nation upon this earth had its time to rule, man. Okay, and every nation upon this earth had our people in captivity, all right? A lot of people don't know that. But Esau, what he does, he goes around and he, and he hides things, man. Okay? He hides a lot of things that, that, you know, people don't know. And when you bring these kind of this kind of information out, you know, people look at you like you're incorrect. Because it doesn't go along with the history that they learned in school. Okay? But that's far from the truth, man. That's why it's, it's good to come back to the scriptures, man. Okay? Because the scriptures are going to tell you the truth, man. As they say in court, 100 percent truth. The scriptures is uh, nothing but accurate. Man. <laughs> Historians use the scriptures to find certain artifacts, you know, to find ge geographical locations. City of David, you know, city of David. That's why where they're looking. They found the tunnels of uh, the tunnels under Jerusalem, and also like the what was the the the, the pool. The pool. Uh, what was the name again? In which they uh, pool of David. Yeah, the then pool. I believe they call it the pool of David. Then it would be cleansed, right? The pool. Yes, I think that pool. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah where they that. would go in, uh, inside of. So Esau used it himself, man. You know, and um, concerning what we are going into right now, the Book of Daniel, you have to understand that this, these visions came in the time of Babylon. The Greek Empire came hundreds of years later. The Greek Empire came hundreds of years later. And he, he had three visions concerning it. The book of Daniel chapter 2, the book of Daniel chapter 7, and the book of Daniel chapter 8. You understand? So it came multiple times in different ways, but he was living, he was living here. But he had he had he received prophecies from all these things. Now this one Swedish guy came to the camp once and he said, give me one scripture uh, that proves the Bible uh, as a prophecy or something. What, what, give me bab biblical facts. What did actually happen? And then I pulled the Daniel chapter, uh, chapter 8, man. Because in Daniel chapter 8, Daniel prophesies about the, the, uh, the Greek Empire taking down the per Persian Empire. And it says in the same chapter, the he-goat are the Grecians, and the ram are the Persians, the medio persian <laughs> Empire. But he's, he's basically prophesying that before, you know, these kingdoms are even set up, because he was in the, in the Babylonian Empire, you see? So that shows you proof right there, because he said it before it happened, you see? Also... Also, uh, Jeremiah, for example, you have the letters of Jeremiah. They, those were written in the time of Babylon, but he's speaking about Babylon being on fire and being burnt. But Babylon what, didn't burn, never burned. You see? So it's not talking about that Babylon. You understand? Go on. Uh, uh, let me read this first. Daniel 4, first. You know, this place is actually very good because I was just standing over there mm -hmm. and the wind hit me. Now I'm standing here and I don't feel the wind. You're like, let me stay over here. Yeah, man. I was like, let me stand over there. You know what I'm saying? Constant wind. You're like, nope. Yeah. <laughs> Not today. 
Uh, let me read the precept first. This is Ezekiel. Ezekiel 26. Verse 14. Thou art the anointed cherub that cover it. Because you were speaking about the hiding also. Thou art the anointed cherub that uh, cover it. And I have said thee so. Thou was upon the holy mountain of the Most High. Thou hast walked up and down in the midst of the stones of fire. Right. Oh, and that's Esau Edom, man. Now the Most High set him up to cover up, to lie, to deceive the nations upon his earth, man. You know? That's his MO. Okay? Grab me that, um, oh, yeah, but we're gonna read uh, Daniel's word. You got that? Yeah, I have something to see. Go ahead, go ahead. This is um, Revelation 20, verse 3. And yeah, cast him. That's, that's what I wanted. Because <laughs> yeah. I wanted to go into Daniel's first. Go, go, let me get you know what I mean? Concerning when he came into power. And yeah. then uh, we'll touch that. This is Daniel 4, verse 17. This matter is by the decree of the watchers and the demand by the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living may know that the Most High ruleth in the kingdom of men mm -hmm. and give it, it to whosoever he will and set it up over it, the basis of men. Right, so you can see the power of the Heavenly Father. He put the basis of men, okay? So-called white man, fresh out the caves, come take over, man. You know, because these people, these people are physically and mentally fucking weak, man. Fucking weak and stupid. Nowadays. Man. Yeah, even nowadays, but of you course. have strong Caucasians too, man. Back in the days, they yeah. were strong, man. Jacob feared, feared them, man. Yeah, of course. But what I mean is like, um, it even says in the scriptures from, from birth, one shall be stronger. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know? <laughs> one Jumping shall be stronger from the other. From thy womb shall come two nations, and they shall be separated. Yep. One shall be stronger than the other. So when it's talking about that, it's talking about physically stronger and mentally stronger. That's our people, man. You know, we are the creators. We are mentally, we, hey, when we get challenged, when we, when we go into straits, meaning uh, positions of difficulty, we invent things to make life much better, man. Yeah, we excel. Yeah. You know, we excel. But Esau in the same situation. You jump off a building. I, <laughs> exactly. I can't I do this no more. Susan, fuck my life. And he'll take the biggest gun Esau he can has buy. a whole family. Esau has a whole family and he fucking commits suicide, man. Mm -hmm. That's a motherfucking weak motherfucking bitch. Yeah. He'll take his my, whole family I, My out. neighbor, my neighbor, when I was living with my mom, my neighbor committed suicide, man. He went jogging every morning on a Sunday. You what know why he went jogging every morning? To look which tree he was going to hang himself on. <laughs> yeah, man. And then one day I woke up and there was cops throughout my whole street. I heard my neighbor, the woman, his wife crying screaming and still don't screaming because she woke up in the morning she saw a letter where it said i can't take it no more and uh, the cops came on the door and said we found him hanging down there he was just hanging around and that place but that place that place where he hung himself multiple people hanged themselves there so there's a, there's a certain spirit around that area man probably where death. they hung jake too never know yeah it's possible it's the spirit around that area, man. Always when I went jogging by that area, I also felt a certain vibration there, man. Like a creepy vibration. You understand? But that's that that's that weak mindset of Esau, man. You know, and then you can say, yeah, what about the the spetsnaz and stuff like that, man? They they full of drugs, that's what? And they are being trained. You don't have to train a Jake, Jacob descendant to be a tough individual, man. Because yeah. Jake Jacob descendants, J, um, Israel, Israelites are tough individuals already from birth, man. Yep. You understand? And that's, that's what is installed in us. You don't have to train us. We already like that. You hey. don't have to teach us salsa. <laughs> you know, we, we, we just have to look and we, we can do it. You understand? Put our minds to but Esau has to take dance lessons and stuff like that, man. Still, Jake, just, Jake just comes up with it. Man. And still he can't get it. And still he can't get it. <laughs> well, you have some Edomites, they... They, they can do You stuff. know, back in the day, yeah, Esau used to know how to dance, though. Yeah. Back in the day, when, when that cocaine was pure, it was moving their ass. <laughs> you know the old school videos and shit? I'm like, oh, that's Esau? Okay. But still, you know, he's, he's weak in the mind, you know? There was, a, there was another example of Esau when, when he had to, when he was getting demoted, you know, he was going to make less money. 
he's he's he said uh, they said that he couldn't see himself living that lifestyle, so he smoked his whole family himself, man. Crazy. That's Esau, man. Yeah, man. Weak individual. Yeah, and, 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 and that's also the reason why you often see Edomites working for one company for 35, 40 years. Yep. Proud about it. You know why that is? Because they are too scared to move on or to take risk. Esau doesn't take risks. He doesn't like to take risks. He's scared to lose his job. It's your picture. My picture? You posted a picture on Instagram where it says, with the, with the curve, if you don't take it, the chance is lost. Yeah, yeah. There's a period where when you have to take the risk and there is an even shorter period where when you're going to lose the opportunity, man. So taking risks, that is what's going to elevate you, man. A man that never <laughs> takes a step to, to, uh, to, to learn something, he, he, doesn't, he doesn't risk nothing, but he doesn't level up. You understand? Ah, if you play in a game, Okay, if you play, let's say you play in Call of Duty, right? Playing Call of Duty. Then you enter a level where there is military forces all over the place, but you have to go sneaky through the level, right? If you stay in one spot, you're never gonna finish the level. At, at a certain point, you have to go and take risks, man, and see if you can get through the level. Now, that's also what happens in real life, man. Make certain steps, you know, to make you better, man. Also as a leader, also as a guide for the nation of Israel, man. Okay? Where you want to take brothers under your wing, you're going to make mistakes too, man. But guess what? If you don't do that, you're never going to learn how to, you know, take right. care of the flock, man. You know? You got to make mistakes too. Yep. Mistake is a, is a beautiful uh, uh, learning uh, experience. Yeah, it's the best way to learn, man, to make mistakes. Yeah, man, because, you know, you got you got guys out there that are, are afraid of making that steps because they're insecure, you know what I mean, and have fear, man. You can't let that be, uh, you know what I mean, uh, uh, controlling your life. Yep. Where where do you, where do you uh, let's say you do Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, right? Let's, let's just take that as an example. You do Brazilian <laughs> Jiu-Jitsu, okay? What do guys that train Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu do? They look for a gym. Where they gonna get? Where they get their asses whooped, man? Because yeah. if you learn how to, you know, beat up guys that you know before was whooping your ass, then you're leveling up. You don't want to be in a gym where you where you destroy everyone. Because how are you gonna get better? You understand? You have to go through the rough in order to elevate, man. And that's why the heavenly father is bringing us through the fire yeah. to make us better, man. Yeah. He said the scripture says an uh, acceptable man are pushed through the fire of adversity, man. Because he wants us to become even more better, man. We are we are basically like, the most I looks at us as potential, potential men. We have potential. But with potential alone, you ain't gonna make it. Okay, you gotta live up to that potential, man. Okay, so the most I is gonna put you in situations where when you're gonna have to, you know, show what you're made of, man. You understand? All that we going through is all to become a, a better person in the sight of the most high. Okay, so where where does I start to understand the scripture more and more by the day where it says, um, happy are ye. <laughs> happy that you got to basically, basically be happy that you're catching hell. I'm starting to understand that more and more. Because if you, if you enter into that type of spirit that you just let go, you really got to let go, man. You really got to let go. It's all in the hands of the most high. You man. don't you're not in control, man. Mm -hmm. Trust the process. You're not in control. Just let go of that of that of those thoughts, man. Because it's called mortal thoughts too. Grab um First second Esther, second Esther 14 and 14. It's like what you said with the um you're gonna be tried in the fire of adversity. And who is the adversary? Satan. You know, the most high sent Satan after you, you know, to put uh, hell on you, you know. You know? That's right, that's right. Yeah, man. Satan is allowed to do it. Yep. He has to ask permission, you know, if he can uh, do something to you. I have the scripture. You know, and that's with everything. Everything is done and decently and Second order. Esdras, you mean? You got According Second Esdras? Father, yeah. Man. Okay, read it. This is Second Esdras, chapter 14 and verse 14. 
Let go from the immortal thoughts. Cast away the burdens of man. Put off now the weak nature. See? Let go from the mortal thoughts. Let go from the thoughts that are really bothering people that are in this world, man, that are really about this world. Okay? <coughs> if you got the same things, or if you are being put in the same situation that the world is tripping about, you shouldn't be tripping about, man. Okay? Let go of that weak nature. Okay? That's why predominantly men that are in this truth are mentally stronger than two-thirds, man. Even though you got two-thirds and gangs and stuff like that, but they be crying if they can't see their baby, man. You understand? But then you got Jake in this truth, man. They tough as hell, man. You know? I heard so many stories, man. You know, I come, I come to uh, GMS Los Angeles, break bread with the brothers there. You know, you hear stories, you're like, what is new, man? You know, I speak my own story. They say, hey, yeah, what is new? <laughs> it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? Keep it, it moving, man. Yep. You know? Yep. Keep it moving, man. Yep. Brothers take care of the children as much as they can, but you know, if the demon is being the demon, then that's what it is, man. You understand? So, but a, a, a man of the world, he will crumble at those things, man. Yeah. He's going to lose it. Yeah, He's going to lose his mind, man. You look, you saw the, the clip of Tyrese, right? What more do you want what from me? What more do you want from me? Me. I just want my baby, you know, like that. You understand? Now, of course, the brother is gonna be a little bit down when when a certain situation occurs. But, but that's how you get strong. But that's that's how you get stronger, man. That's that arrow that you get shot in your back. Okay, that's the first arrow. Then you're like, hmm, okay, I see. Before you know it. And then, you know, a couple of years later, you get you have you walking around. With 20 arrows in your back and you you basically used to it man <laughs> you look you look back in the past when you see yourself with a couple arrows you'd be like now yeah. you look in the mirror you'd be like damn you see all the battle scars man yeah man more wounds when you look at a lion when you look at a lion that uh went through a lot to become a king if you see a a, a lion that has a, a big lion pride he's full of scars man there was this one lion, he was blind in one eye, man. But he kept, he kept uh, leading the pack, man. And every time he got attacked, even sometimes by two young male lions, Take them on he both. destroys, he takes them on both, man. But guess what? He's not gonna leave that without scars, man. You're gonna, you're gonna be damaged, man. Okay? Being in this truth, you're gonna, you're gonna get damaged, man. You're gonna get emo uh, emotionally scarred. But that be, that uh, is that is a part of it, man. That is a part of this truth. Can make it can make it more um, juicy for you, man. That's just what it is. The Heavenly Father has chosen this path for us to walk in, and we just gotta live up to it, man. You understand? I know that the Heavenly Father is on our side. That's why the scripture also says um, the Most High is there to um, think, think the broken mind, the broken hearted. The, the, yeah, you have that one, but you also have the uh, other one. But yeah, you're going to be broken, you're going to be scarred, so the Most High is there to, to catch you up, man. Because, patch you up, yeah. Because he's the one that is actually doing it also, you know. The Lord said, I wound and I heal. Yeah. But it's all to give a, a much greater reward in the end. Yeah. For, for the same wounds that you, that you, that he patched up, he's going to give you a much greater reward, man. To the point that it's not, that you're not even supposed to compare those two things with each other man and now you're thinking like well okay let's just keep going then but then the kingdom you're gonna look back and be like wow it really romans 8 and 18 yeah, yeah. is really like facts just it's really one. facts man like i don't want to boast the game too much man avatar i don't want to boast that game too much man but listen man if you play that game if you play that game and you just put yourself in in that man like you gotta you live you live off the land man you grab herbs <laughs> you grab herbs you grab fruit you make your clothing you grab like um you grab like um what do you call that stuff berries you know like um flowers where which you can make um where which you can uh, weave like a cotton for example 
can make thread out of that. You grab these materials and you form your own clothing. But then, you know, when you're playing that game and you walk into that, in that land, you see big moon in the sky and stuff like that like you don't understand man the scripture says eyes have not seen ears have not heard what the most has prepared for you man you know so if you're only like playing a simple game like nowadays they make games beautiful man you know the the, the quality of the game is beautiful you playing that stuff and you, you you just imagine like man you know if i would be placed in this type of uh, land that would be amazing already, man. But guess what? The kingdom is gonna far exceed even that, man. Yeah, but your if, imaginations. If you think about it, like, like the, the the daily life that we live is like a rhetorical, oh no, perpetual cycle. You know, you go to work, go home, go to work, go home, train, go work, go home, train. It, it's the same same thing. You see all the same things. But there's parts of this world, in China and all over the world, that. When you see these pictures, man, you wish you was there. These are beautiful areas that, hey, man, that we, 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 we can't even imagine even being there. I see Esau eating these exotic, exotic fruits that you never knew exist. Yep. Fruits that you'd be like, what? Bananas with seeds in them. Yep. All kinds of crazy things that you don't even know exist. The plant that forms itself in, into a bird. So yeah, man. One. You know, the beauty is... That, that already exists and just imagine on top of that with the kingdom of, of, of the Heavenly Father man when it's gonna be established there ain't gonna be this corrupt bullshit that we see right now before us man you know yeah. like Esau has in mind too man because when Esau speaks about how the earth was looking like back in the days he, he shows you volcanoes and you know the area of the era of um, of clay the era of um kite you know uh ch the chalk he, he and when he shows you images of those those eras then he shows like barren land volcanoes yeah. and stuff like that but that that that's not how the land used to yeah. look like back in the days man the scripture says it uh, eden was beautiful which the word eden means paradise man Come on, man. You, you mean to tell? But you know what's funny? Esau digs into the ground and he sees these layers. And it was wrong. And he thinks this was so ma many million years oh, ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was these layers. But you have to understand that the angels was with their power. It took them six thousand years to form everything that is in existence. Six thousand years, which in Esau his mind, it is millions of years. Because when he looks at it like, okay, it takes so long to form this, he's like, that's millions. No, man. The angels with the power of the Lord did that in 6,000. Okay, and, he, and they formed layers to build the earth in, in, in a good structure. But Esau's looking at it and it's like, that's billions of years old. So on, man. Five billion they years found ago. dinosaurs with still skin on them, man. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. One scientist says, how is this million years old? How can you explain that? Well, uh, it was very well perceived. Nah, man, shut the fuck up, man. Shut ain't no flesh, ain't no, ain't no, you know, nothing like that is gonna be <coughs> well preserved like that for millions of years. It's impossible. You understand? So uh, let's go with the script. Go on with the script. Come. Grab me that first Thessalonians. This is First Thessalonians 3, verse 3 that no man should be moved by these afflictions for yourselves know that we are appointed thereunto. Right. So they, these afflictions, they've been appointed unto us. So just like the brother says, the more you grow within this truth, man, this ministry, you know, the more you understand, you know, that scripture, what the brother was talking about, dealing with uh, afflictions, man. You understand more and more about how, how it is, man, when the Lord says, hey, you're going to deal with these things, man. But it's a joyful thing, you know, you kind of be like, okay, yeah, man. Lord if willing, you, I'm in still good graces, you know, because the Lord is still dealing with me. Because in, in Hebrews chapter 12, verse 6, it says that the Lord chastens those that, those that he loved, right? So when you're being chastised, the Lord said, despise not the chastening of the Lord, man. Don't despise it. Why? Because the Lord is trying you, man. The Lord is, is, is shaping, molding you. You got to understand, 
we are those lively stones. And if that's the case, right, we're being brought out the rough. You know, like when you dig up the gems, they're ugly, you know. The Most High don't want that. He, he wants He wants the, the, the beauty, the shine, the perfection. Polished, but that's inside. But that that's the process. The process there is, is very messy. It's painful too, because we are the ones that are being, being groomed to be looking beautiful again. But not only that, in order for uh, for gemstone to come into its existence, what happens is pressure. the ground is pressured together with all these minerals in it. It's being pressured so bad that it forms into a gemstone, and then the outside of that gemstone, you know, it looks like it's just a rock. Mm -hmm. But then when you crack it open, the inside is beautiful, man. You know? In China, you know what they do? They have like um, rocks laying on the table and then they give you money for it. Yeah, I saw that. But you don't know if there's gonna be a gemstone inside and they don't know neither. They just say it's a high chance that it has gemstones, a gemstone in it. And you know, you just pay a, a normal amount, but you might get a, a gemstone out of it that is huge as hell. And yeah. Millions. Yeah. So, um, we are being pressured together to become lively stones. We are being pressured together to become beautiful, okay? And then we are being polished, okay? Scrape the uncleanness off here, scrape the, 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 the ugliness off here, and now you a beautiful stone in the eyes the grind, of the most the grinding, The grinding part, you know, when you grind off the, 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 the regular stone, you gotta grind that all off. Yeah. And that, that's the Lord purging us, you know, purifying us. You know, to, to look beautiful. Yeah, that looks like a Down syndrome Makita. <laughs> that's the Japanese one. Yeah, but that's a they big look one a little, though. No. Yeah, it is a male, but glass bigger. I think he must it. be mixed with the American and no, no, normally no. the Japanese is the small one. No, that's Shiba. That's not a Makita. That's a Shiba. That's the small one. This is Sirach chapter 2 verse 4. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a low estate. Okay, so, you know, when you're being brought to a low, low estate, be cheerful of that, because it was already appointed us to be brought low, okay? And, and when you're being brought low, you know, you're gonna be despised of your family members, your friends, your loved ones, right? You're gonna take L's, mad L's. You're gonna take a lot of losses, man. You know what I mean? Sometimes grievous, of course, so, so those things that you do care for in the flesh, but we gotta let those things go, man. We gotta understand that, hey, that these these things have been appointed onto us that we will be afflicted. So when you're being brought low, man, just be patient, man. Be patient. Trust the process. Because the Lord is doing things, man. He's working his marvelous works, man. Okay. This is uh first Peter 2, verse 5. Yea, also, ye also, as lively stones, are built up a spiritual house. A holy priesthood right. to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to Yahweh by Yahweh Shai. See, so we those are lively stones, you know, doing the will of the Heavenly Father, man. Okay, that's what we're doing. And in that process, while we're doing the work, the Lord is also working with us, fixing us up, getting our minds right, teaching us a, a very uh, valuable lessons, man. Okay, being tried to see if we're going to keep our integrity. You know, and that, that's the, the, the beautification of, of the body. Um, first Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 3. That no man should be moved by these afflictions, for yourselves know that we are appointed thereunto. So when you're being brought to a low estate, catching hell, you know, you shouldn't be moved by these things, man. And meaning moved is like being discouraged. Yep. You know? Shaken in mind. Right. I have that also. This is uh, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 2. Huh? What food? That's not the reason. Yeah, I understand the reason. You said the. This is 2 Thessalonians, 1 Thessalonians, like yeah. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 2. Let me start at 1. 2 Thessalonians 2 and 1. Now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord Yahweh Shai, and by our gathering together unto him, that ye be not soon shaken in mind. 
Right. Don't be discouraged. Don't be like, man, I, I ain't sign up for this, man. You know, because some brothers, you know, uh, uh, for example, uh, I know of a brother, you know, he started taking uh, losses, man. You know, screaming out, man, man I, I, I'm, I'm taking too much, man. And I, Satan, I, wants, Satan wants you to believe that it only happens to you. Yeah. I think I know which brother you're talking about. Yeah. I was on the phone with him. I was kind of, exp uh, he was talking about all the hell that he's going through yeah. and brothers don't understand him, this, yeah. that, and the third. Then I said, you know, you want to know what I'm going through? I'm going through this. Let me tell you about that, brother. He's going through this, 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 and this. And soon this is going to happen to him. You know, because he's busy with that. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. That's fucked up, too. I said, exactly, man. We all going through shit, man. We all going through hell, man. You know, don't think that you're the only one, man. Satan wants you to think that you are the only one, that the most I ain't dealing with you, the most I don't love you, you know? But that, that, that's, that, that's, that's that being shaken in mind, man, because it says that you be not soon shaken in mind. And when you go into, into that word shaken in mind, it says, um, saluo, salio, it says, to agitate the mind, to disturb one. Okay, so when you are disturbed in the mind, you're not you're not getting yourself together, man. You gotta get yourself together, man. Get your ass up, man. Yeah, get yourself together, because the scripture says a righteous man, a just man falleth seven times and get it back up again. Mm -hmm. And that's a hard process, man. I was talking about this with a fighter at my gym, because I told him, like, listen, man, I, I got respect for you, you know why? He said, why? I said, man, to be honest, you lost a few times and you got knocked out cold. He got knocked out cold. He got a submitted bad, but he kept on training and he kept on fighting, man. And now he, he's, he's getting up there, man. You know, he's getting up there. He's making big steps. And that is only because he kept his mind sharp and he didn't back down, man. Even though you, you get some losses, mm -hmm. even mm -hmm. even though you take some else, you got to keep it moving, man. And that's why I was like, on a carnal level, I told him, man, I, I got respect for, for, for your grind, man. You understand? Now, we in a spiritual form, basically in the form of, you know, how we how we go into things in this world. Yes, thank you, man. Same like the bread. You know? We, um, we got to do the same, man. Even though we take losses, we got to keep it moving, man. We gotta keep our head up and and, and and push push forward, man. Okay? You know, you know, in when you're in the boxing ring, you know, dude is coming up strong, pop, 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 pop. Then you give him a couple of body shots, stop, and now you see he start to move backwards. That boosts your confidence. Because you see, oh, you're moving backwards. You're gonna drop your guard a little bit. Pop! You're gonna keep going with the body shots, the, the, the combinations on the head. Because you see, he's he's getting um, uncomfortable, and he's moving backwards. Nah, man, you ain't supposed to show, you know, how you how you how you standing up still, man. You you ain't supposed to show that you hurt him, cause yeah. Satan take advantage of that. You just gotta keep pushing, man. You yeah. Just gotta keep pushing, man. I had an experience with the uh, with the guy. He uh, he challenged me for sparring and shit for his fight coming up. But this guy wanted to knock me out. <laughs> And I was sitting there, and the guy that I know, he was a four-time Golden Glove champ, he was watching me. Because I let him come full force by blocking punches, get up against the ropes, let him then do his thing. And then you hear him And then um, David said, I know what you're doing. You wait until you get tired. Yep. I was like, yes. And then I would test him, I would throw a jab. But then I saw he started throwing it, going like this with the arm. I knew he'd get tired. So then I started piecing them up, man. Yeah. Start beating the shit out of them. Because it be boosts your confidence too, man. Yeah. I had the same thing. I was in a tough ass fight against the purple belt uh, in the Abu Dhabi uh, Abu Dhabi competition. And we was going hard, hard. Zero, zero. Both no points. We was going hard and I was like, fuck, I'm tired of shit, man. But I didn't show it. And then I heard him like this. And when I heard that, I was like, okay, no, you're tired to too. Now I'm gonna squeeze everything out because I hear you fucking tired, man. I stood up, fuck, fuck. 
past his guard, top, and then I choke this ass out. Boom. Because it can boost your confidence, man. And Satan, yeah. if he sees that, oh, you tired? You you want to give up now? Mm -hmm. <laughs> he, going, he going harder on you, you know? So you got to have your mind sharp, man. Not shaken. You got to have it sharp. Sharp as a fucking razor, man. So that when Esau, when Esau or Satan, it's the same thing, <laughs> want to touch, touch your mind, he fucking hurts himself, man. Yeah. Cause the heavenly father's is angels is right there covering you up, and you have a, yes, uh, the yes, mind of a, a of an of a heavenly <laughs> being yourself, man, strong and confident in the Lord. Right, and and these examples that we're giving on to you, is examples of how, for for you know, cause when you're coming in, and if like for example, if you were fighting and somebody come like that at strong, you know, you don't know what to do, and now all of a sudden now you out of energy, now you shaking in the mind but you know with experience you know what i mean you know how to deal with that kind of things man you know what i mean so you have to uh, uh, uh be patient man be That's patient right. just trust the process because later on you're going to grow stronger so so when situations come at you very strong you know how to put up the guards defense you yep. know spiritually yep, yep. right you put that the full armor on you know what I mean? And you be like, okay, I, I've been through this. Come on. Yeah, man. Bring that shit, man. When you, then when you get blows to the face, you're like, ha, let's go. I'm now mm. now and that's you woke you, me up. Now you now woke you, me up. Yeah, now I'm getting go. even more sharper, man. Yeah, and yeah. that's how you should take the the, the, um, the beatings. You should tra transfer it into um, into power, man. Fire, and strength man. and fire to yeah, push man. even more videos out there, man. Right, uh. You know? Oh, you wanna you wanna block my video? Wanna take off the sound? You wanna terminate my channel? No problem, man. I set up three channels now: <coughs> one in the Dutch, one in the English, and one at yeah, the chapter breakdowns. Whatever, however you set it up, I'm gonna come back even stronger, man. You yeah. understand? And then Satan is gonna look at you like, you know, this this Let don't really make away. no this don't make no sense, you know. <laughs> keep You're trying to mess him up, but, <laughs> I keep trying to mess him up, but it doesn't really work. That's when you get that uh, leather face, you know, when you're taking a lot of punches to the face, then your, your face gets uh, tougher. Yep. Yeah, I had yeah. that before. Uh, I had that before, you know. I was taking a lot of, I was getting, I used to block punches in my face because I was always scared with the body shots, right? Mm. <laughs> you go into, yeah, like uh, Joel, Joel Romero. He blocked the, the, he blocked the head shot with his, with, his, with his neck, man. Yeah, I was, uh, you know, take punches, you know, you go with it, but... I ended up, uh, they, they would say your face would start to turn into leather. Yep. You know, I, I would get bruises, but no swellings. I would get bruises on my lips, but no swellings. You know, it was funny because before I got hit in the lip, next thing you know, my lip was like this and shit. And that's when you become hard. <laughs> that's endure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, the scripture says endure hardness as a soldier of the Lord. He's got it right here. You understand? Read it. Right. This is 2 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 3. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier mm -hmm. of the Aushai. Yeah, endure means to be hardened as a good soldier. And, and a soldier, you know, you, you take you take hits, man. And a soldier, you know, goes into having also a solitary life, man. Dealing with situations by yourself. You know, that, that, that will make you really strong, you know what I mean? Because, uh, yeah, of course, you got the brotherhood. But there's going to be situations you're going to have to make choices on your own, man. You know? That's that narrow path, man. Yep. It says only one can walk on it at a time. At a time. So you don't have, you have brother support, but they are not there walking next to you while you're walking that narrow path. They're behind you or in front of you, walking and focusing on the narrow path themselves. You understand? So, you know, this truth is a lonely path, man. And you got to take it yourself. Ain't nobody going you know, talk about it with you, man, that is in the world. Only brothers, man. Yeah. So she had a rough night. <laughs> <laughs> Walking all crooked and shit. Yeah, yeah. Probably fucking with you. You know, ain't nobody, yeah, man. Ain't nobody going, you know, guide you through it, man. Because yeah. it's not possible. It's a lonely path, man. You That's understand? What, and and yeah. Le yeah, yesterday night, I was talking with my woman, and I kind of went into some spiritual things. Right over her head, huh? And then she she she's talking back to me, and I'm like, no, that ain't really it, man. And then I kind of say, yeah, yeah, I understand. And then I leave it. And I'm like, yeah. 
but um, at a preset. Yeah. On that, that's the thing, man. You know this this path. You know, it, of course, right now. That's why it's important to build up within the spirit, man. Because in the, you know, that's that's gonna be that 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 lamp, that light before you, you know, guiding you, helping you deal with these situations. Because the time is gonna come where you're gonna be in a situation when you're alone, man. Jacob's trouble, right? Running for your life, you know. Right now, of course, you know we enjoy the brotherhood. It's, it's, it's a good feeling, man. Even when you're talking with a brother on the phone. It's a relief, man. You know, talking till one o'clock in the morning, knowing you got to work at five o'clock in the morning. But it felt good, man. You know, you just sitting there and then you look at the time like, shit, man. But that's works too. You know? That's works too. Don't think that making videos is the only thing that just works. God. You know, communicating and breaking bread with each other is works too, man. Yeah, man. That's you know, true. you might call up a brother just because you, you know, your spirit is like, hey, let me, let me give the brother a call, man. Mm -hmm. You know, and the brother gets great comfort with your words. Mm -hmm. That's works too, man. That you you taking care of one of the sheep, yeah. right? You know, so we got to keep our eyes on the prize. You know, of course we live a solitary life, but you know, narrow is is, is the path. But we are we are walking towards the wide part. You know, the kingdom, man. Finally having rest. Then we got the, the brotherhood that's gonna be even much more beautiful, man. Imagine all the brothers, man. Man, all the brothers in their right mind, even much more, because we're gonna be made what? Pure. Our bodies are gonna be changed. We're gonna be made perfect, man. You know? These are the kind of things that, you know, when you're dealing with tough situations, we gotta focus on, man. Know, know, what, know what you're going to receive, man. And that's what we're all working for, is that rest, man. You know? To get out of these this, this, this chains of darkness, man. This flesh. To have at ease, man. When did you, you know, if you think about it, when did you ever have peace within your own mind? You'd be at the house. You'd be like, yes, I got some time for myself. Now you're battling your own mind. You got fucking thoughts in your head. You be like, what the fuck is this? Bullshit, man. Go ahead. This is uh, 1 Thessalonians 3, verse 5. For this cause, when I could no longer forbear, I sent to know your faith, lest by some means the tempter have tempted you and our labor be in vain. So, like you were going into, uh, you were speaking to a brother, you know, and uh, he's thinking like, yeah, I'm the only one that's going through it, and uh, nobody is feeling it like how I'm feeling it. You know, that's the, the tempter right there, that's Satan right there, you know? And he is trying to, uh, you know, get you to, to doubt and to fall away, you know? That's what the tempter does. He's tempting you. He's tempting you by, by putting thoughts in your mind that are not of your own, yep. you see? And then that's exactly what... Um, in the book of Thessalonians, uh, uh, Timotheus, you know, that's what he did. He was he was actually there to heal brothers, to, to tell them like, hey, the same thing that we're doing right now. We are warning you like, hey, don't let these thoughts, um, don't be tricked into think that these thoughts are your own thoughts, man. And it's a tempter. So what did he what did he do to the brothers? He comforted them yeah. while he was giving keeping company with them. That's why the only way you're going to really find out what brothers is going through is, is keeping company with them, man. Being around them. Brothers ain't going to open up to you, you know, while you're not even there, while you're not seeing them. You got to get involved, man. And of course, you know, that's, that's some, some, some brothers are more to themselves, but, you know, you can even uh, uh, get things out of the most uh, introverted brother, you know, and comfort him, man. We are a brother's keeper and uh, Galatians 6 and 1. Grab that. Galatians 6 and 1. Actually, verse yeah. 2, but you can start at 1. When we have that righteous seed. We got to rehearse these righteous acts, man. Okay, you can't be like Cain. Am I my brother's keeper? Also this. <laughs> I was talking with a brother, right? And I asked him how, he, how he's doing. This was yesterday. I asked him how he's doing. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, good, same old, same old. Everything is just day to day. It's just going fine. I look at him. You keep digging. 
I said, so what about this? Uh, what you mean? Yeah, what about this and this? Uh, well, how is this thing going? Yeah, you know. I said, yeah, man, talk about it, man. Uh, bring it out. Let me know. Then I, you know, and then when you start talking with the brother, you start to give like advice, like look at this, look at this. You have to consider this, that, and the third, man. You know? Yeah, man, hey, to water for the advice, man. You see, so a brother might, you know, keep things to himself because, you know, he don't want to bother you with it or whatever. That, that stupid, stupid, that's some stupid shit. Let me just say it like that. It's stupid shit, man. You know, the brotherhood is a safe haven where you can speak your mind, man. And everyone has a brother that he likes to talk with and likes to speak things with, you know, but you got to be comfortable with it, man. You got to be comfortable with it and, you know, you share what you're going through, man. Because the brother might just have the, 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 the key to solving it. Demon. <laughs> no, I, don't, I, I didn't get that feeling from him. Galatians. <clears throat> one? Galatians 6. Uh, yeah. This is Galatians 6, verse 1. Uh, it's entitled, Fulfilling the Law of Yahweh Shai. Brethren, if a man be overtaken in a fault, ye which are spiritual, restore such a one in a spirit of meekness, considering thyself, lest thou be also, it's like a lest thou also be tempted. Yeah, man, so when you deal with a brother, you know, and you want to correct him on certain things, you, know, you want to correct him, uh, correct him on certain things, then um, you also got to watch yourself concerning it, man. That you don't fall into the same. But you, ye that are spiritual, you know, restore, restore the, this brother in, in, uh, in the spirit of meekness, man. You know, go on. Pursue. So that this goes into working with the brother, man. Work with him. Go on. Pursue. Bear ye one another's burdens. And on top of that, you got to bear one another's burdens, man. So while, you, while you're dealing with the brother, you also got to um, think about the things that he's going through. And see if you can help him with that. You understand? You cannot just pull a pull a big ass blade on his ass, you know, to cut his <laughs> ass up and not considering what the brother is already going through. Yeah. Okay? You gotta be um uh you gotta have um empathy. Yeah. You gotta have empathy uh for a brother, man. And be compa yeah, like be compassionate one towards another, like the scripture says. Yeah. So don't bring out the, the, the berserker sword, you know, while, you know, the brother is already in distress, man. Because it says, don't add stress onto a brother that is already distressed. Okay? Work with him. Learn how to work with a brother, man. And that's how he's going to grow stronger and uh, elevate himself. Okay? And, and also, he'll be able to be comfortable to, to come and talk to you about a situation yep. that he has a hard time. Because if you come up with a Dealing berserker with sword... He ain't gonna say shit to you. He's hurting inside. That's yeah. the last thing. He's but looking. there are certain brothers that that will not get anything out of other brother, man, because they don't feel comfortable talking to them. So there is one man that has to work, and that is the man that brothers don't feel comfortable talking to. He has to work, man. Because you you gotta be a brother, man. You gotta be a brother. Galatians 6, verse 2. Bear ye one another's burdens, and so fulfill the law of Yahweh Shai. For if a man think himself to be something when no, he has that nothing, was it, that was it. Yeah. Bear each other's burdens, for so fulfill ye the law of Yahweh Shai. Okay? Love one another as you love yourself. You would help yourself too, right? If you're low on money, you're going to look for ways to make, make money, right? To, to uh, get through the month. Then help another brother too, in that same fashion. This is First Peter chapter five and verse nine. Whom resists steadfast in the faith? Read it again. Whom resists? Whom resists steadfast in the faith? Knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. Right. So you know, we all going through hell, man. You know, you can't just think about yourself and be like, you know. You're the only one that's going through this situation. Other brothers are going through it too, man. So we got to be there for one another, you know? Deal with the situation the best way you can by applying these scriptures, man. You know? 
That's yeah. what it's really about, man. Building up within the spirit. But if you if you keep it to yourself and think you know how to do it better, then then that go then then you should read uh, uh, Proverbs chapter three verse five. You know that's you leaning onto your own understanding, man. Yep. You know that, that that just shows you that you don't trust the Lord, man, because the Lord said. Uh, um, can you grab that for me real quick? Proverbs uh, five and three. It says, oh, it always says it better. <laughs> Hmm? Yeah. yeah. It's cold outside. Yeah. But we need the sacrifice. I got it already. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> For centuries. Body says yeah. a living yeah. sacrifice. Yeah, you got it, you got it. This is Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 5. Trust in the Lord Yahweh with all thine heart and be not unto thine own understanding. See, with all thine heart. So whatever situation you're going through, <laughs> don't think how you deal with situations before it was working, it's going to work now. That ain't the case, man. This fight that we're fighting right now is much different than that, man. This is a spiritual warfare, man. Before Satan had you, but the Most High has taken you out of that situation, okay? He has chosen you. It's not that you chose him, like these Christians. Are you saved? <laughs> okay, you're going to find out, dude. Soon the world is going to find out what the Lord is really all about. Man. That's right. Because this Christianity has the world in a, in a spell, man. Thinking that thinking that they know the most high, man. Yeah. They don't, man. <laughs> they don't know the most high at all. They don't know the Lord Jehovah Shai at all. When the Lord Jehovah Shai saw wickedness happening before the temple, he just, man, he beat people up, man. He threw the tables. He beat a people up, man. Table. No, it doesn't say that. Well, but I most think back in the day, yeah, it most likely it doesn't say it was a stone table, but most likely, yeah, it was a heavy table. Yeah, you understand? So the Lord wasn't playing around, man. But how do they de depict? How do they depict the Lord? First and foremost, as a so-called white man, and on top of that, as a soft-spoken man. Meanwhile, the Lord wasn't like that, man. Every time man. he was even cutting up the disciples, man. He was even cutting up the disciples, man. You know, and when he was in the in the ship sleeping. Here it is, the Lord has no place to rest. Now they in the ship. The Lord is like, let me rest for a moment, man. Then the disciples wake him up. We're gonna die. <laughs> man, these people, man. Little Are you but little of faith? Ye little of faith, man. You know, you know, if you get woken up for that, you, you, you. <laughs> If you get woken up in your sleep, you're already angry. <laughs> you best believe that the Lord wasn't, 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 <laughs> wasn't having it, uh, man. Because the prophecies need to be played the out. Scripture says he's an austere man. Yeah. Esau's not putting that in his movies. He comes, you know, says with Borgier comes to you. Hi, my child. <laughs> also, when, also when the disciples asked, <laughs> when Yahusha spoke about the leaven, and Yahusha already explained it, that, um, uh, about the bread no 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 he didn't explain about the bread he uh, about the leaven he already showed you don't have to worry about food because i can multiply the food into infinity oh, yeah. we will always have enough and then he spoke about the leaven and then they said oh are we gonna have lack of food <laughs> and then he was like man you're always tripping about the food man didn't i multiply this basket in so many didn't Did i, I multiply this for this fish in so many why you think I'm talking about the food, man? The Lord got irritated, man. Because they, they was tripping about the food. It's not about the food. Talking about the leaven of the Pharisees, man. Beware of that, man. Yeah. They're trying to creep in. Like the scripture says, some have crept in unawares, man. You understand? You got to watch out for that, man. Because they, they're able to pollute other men also. And that's what we see nowadays. That's what we see now with these Boston reprobates, man. How, can, how the fuck can it be? that he has three followers with him, the dude. How you think that is? Because he was that cancer that started creeping up on brothers and now also deceived them. Of course, the scripture says the deceived and the deceiver are his, but you know, this this is what happened, man. He is that leaven. It's taken out. <clears throat> it had to be taken out, man. And he took with him those that were leavened also. Uh, that's why it's very important to stick to, that's why scriptures say be ye sober be ye vigilant for your adversary the devil yeah right roaming around as a lion seeking whom he may devour this i have a scripture 
This is Hebrews chapter 12, verse 15. Looking diligently, lest any man fail of the grace of the Most High. Diligently, Le looking, okay. right? Fail. It's not taking your time, right? Lest any root of bitterness springing up trouble you, right? And thereby many be defiled. Yeah, man, because some guys is offended. You get offended, and then now all of a sudden now you're bitter about something because of concerning doctrine, man. You couldn't chew part of that that that, that gospel, man. You know that the strong meat it's for you is strong meat. It's a stumbling block for you, man. You couldn't deal with it. That's yeah, why man. you got those uh, Boston hey, You know? Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, the Boston. I thought that you were going to go to the man. Oh, yeah? You know? So these guys, man, they, 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 they were bitter, got offended, right? And now, now with the, 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 uh, the foul, uh, polluted bullshit they want to come with, they they come uh they come and uh teach you things that are 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 are, are, are <laughs> straight up against what the Lord has said, man. Now you want to bring in the heathen into the congregation that that the strangers shall be joined on to us. Are you are you serious? Are you serious, man? Huh? So you so you've been you you've been warned, man about these kind of things that were going to occur. That's why it's very important to be looking diligently, man. Watching, man, for guys like this, man. You know, mark those men, man, which cause division. Contrary to the doctrine which we have learned. Right, contrary to the doctrine which we have learned. Is that all? But that's also something that uh, came up right in the, the video of uh, Elder Manata Zakbar. That the people should basically, um, you know, go to their brother and talk to him one on one. You know, in, 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 uh, not this twelve. Yeah, no uh, matches. Was it seventeen or eighteen? You know, and then, uh, but but how then? You know, is, uh, is, is 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 basically the congregation? You know, gonna know about these people bringing out you know false things. Man. Being uh, being forewarned about what they teach. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, no problem. Man. You know, it's important that, that, that you hear these things, man. You know, and um, thing is, is like, what was I gonna say? I totally forgot. <laughs> got a precept. Though. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> this, this is, is uh, Marcus, this is Ephesians 4 and 30, and grieve not the Holy Spirit of the Most High, whereby ye are sealed unto the day of redemption, let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. Right, now, evil speaking is not talking about when you say shit or, or damn, or it's talking about against, against the word, against the gospel, man. <coughs> speaking things you ought not to speak, man. Sticking to the sound doctrine, which word sound meaning good. You know, and, and that's the thing, it's very important to continue to learn from the elder apostles of Great Millstone, man. Don't go about your own ways seeking seeking uh, your self-righteousness, man. And that's how you get destroyed, man. And you want to call yourself friends of the Most High? Friends of friend of Yahweh Shai? Are you out of your damn mind? Yahweh Shai ain't with these heathens. But Yahweh Shai is about to take the crowns of these heathens away, man. So how can that be the case? He's coming to destroy these heathens, man. He's he's going to pull up the, uh, to to the prey, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, because uh, the bitterness, man. We were, we were we were speaking about the bitter, you know, and these these men, you know, the bitterness is also a uh, uh, sort of leaven. This so this so that's why the scripture says. Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking, all these things are leaven, leaven within the body. You know, so you have to let those things go. You see? You can't be offended by these things and, and be all bitter inside. That, that, that shit is going to blow up. It's going to swell up like leaven. Yep. Yeah, good. man, get rid of it as soon as possible. And the scriptures give you instructions on that. 
Matthew chapter 18. If someone offends you, don't let that don't let that grudge build up within the body, man. Because it's gonna affect others and also how you deal with others, man. You know? Spe speak with the brother, man. It might be that it, it, it can be solved in an instant. It doesn't have to take long. You know, if a brother is uh, open-minded to what you have to say and is, a, is willing to look at what you are saying, then things can be solved easily, man. You understand? Can be corrected. Yeah, man. Yeah. You know, without bitterness. You know? And that's very important because otherwise, you're going to be otherwise-minded. Yep. You're going to go about your own way, thinking that, that you're correct. Right? And, and it's crazy, man, you know? If you really think about it, like within even brothers, you know, within the camp, you always got one guy think everybody else is wrong, but he's correct. But them same brothers, all three of them or four could be, are speaking the same thing. And now you got the Boston group going about their own ways. And, and, and guess what? You got brothers from all over the earth correcting your ass and you still don't want to listen man that's why the scripture says pride cometh before fall okay yeah, if you stand in, if you keep standing in your pride and neglect to hear the, the body matter. of the lord yeah. the body of yahweh shai if you neglect to hear them then you ain't supposed to be a part of the body to begin with man because we supposed to be of one mind mm -hmm. and if you stand next to brothers in the faith and if you deal with brothers in the faith who you know to be man of the Lord, but then when you get corrected, you say they wrong, then, then your mind is twisted, man. These are men that you look at, you hear them teach, you are inspired by their teachings. Okay, you listen to their teachings, you say they are men of the Lord, but then now you get corrected, all of a sudden they are men of the Lord no more. What the hell is that? That's a demon, man. That's a demon. So that's why it's also good to fast and pray, man. Be instant in prayer, man. You know? Yep. Otherwise, you're going you gonna to fall further and further away from the Lord, man. Otherwise, you start praying to Bablu. <laughs> Bablu. <laughs> that shit stick in your mind. Like, you start to pray to, to, to y'all double oat. <laughs> Come on. You start doing that type of stuff, man. <coughs> Not cases. Not cases, man. Huh? I don't even remember those names. I, I remember. Because I, I did... I, I did my research on it, man. I digged into it, you know, and I said, oh, they're praying to Gnostic, Gnostic, Gnostic uh, gods, so, so to speak. Which, in Gnosticism, they say that the Most High, the, the, the God of the Old Testament, which is the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, they say that that's really Satan. That's what Gnosticism goes into. Because you give man room. And that the real God is not busy with the things of the world let people just do what they want that is say completely them. contradicting to the scriptures man because the scripture says uh, shall there be evil done in the city and the lord had not done it okay go on <laughs> and we're back <laughs> snow white passes by yeah, with the booty eyes. yeah. i think i need to go eyes. save her <laughs> go man go, go, go save her she don't want to be easy <laughs> Uh, this is uh, Titus 1, verse 9. Hold, holding fast to the faithful word as he had been taught that he may be able by sound doctrine yeah, both to yeah. exhort and to uh, convince the gainsayers. Let me read it again. This is uh, Titus 1, verse 9. Holding fast the faithful word as he had been taught mm -hmm. that holding he holding fast man the faithful words of the most high because they are faithful and true yeah, yeah. there's not there's not going to be no prophecy that is not hey every prophecy that is written therein is going to be fulfilled man. <laughs> okay yeah, man and there's prophecy. prophecies also of the kingdom that still have, have to come to pass so after the destruction of this more uh, this modern day society continuing on <laughs> there is going to be prophecies being fulfilled in the kingdom even a thousand years of slavery has to be fulfilled mm -hmm. after that every nation shall return to its own land has to be fulfilled mm -hmm. 60 also with uh, nursing uh, they're gonna be nursing. you becoming a nation has to be fulfilled you know oh, that's yeah. gonna be over the process of time man yeah 
You know? Yeah, yeah. A small one should be great. I was, uh, now you make me think about something I didn't even mention in the video that I made. But um, I did a video yesterday with the brother from Germany uh, uh, concerning um, they speak evil of dignities, right? That we, yeah, what well, we read uh, during the Sabbath study. You know, they speak evil concerning uh, the government and uh, uh, of dignities. Um, which is talking about, you know, rebellious dudes that actually came up under the elder apostles and now they want to speak evil about them. Yeah. But the scripture says, remember whom you have learned from. Now, the point that I forgot to bring out was this. The scriptures say, a little one shall become a thousand and a small one a strong nation. And it doesn't even mention the great one. It doesn't even mention the man that have been teaching for 35 plus years. Man. It doesn't 40, even mention 40, that. 40 what do you think? That's why it says, meditate upon the end of their conversation. Grab that. Um, Hebrews 13 and 7. Hebrews 13 and 7 basically tells you like, you got to think like, what is going to be the end of them? How, how, are gonna, how, how are they going to be set up in the kingdom, man? You have to understand, man, Beautiful. the man of the Lord, you know, the elders, of, beginning with the elders, apostles have been putting in work, man. Consistently. Have been putting in work. You have to understand, 35 plus years and making a video a day. Everyday videos, man. There's not a day that goes by that I don't see the elder apostles going live or making videos, man. You want to That's here. diligent work. They ain't even counting how much videos they have this week. They just do it. Mm -hmm. They just turn on the live and they just keep going, man. Yeah. That's diligence, man. You know? Got me thinking about the prayer of, of, um, of Elisha, man. I want double. <laughs> I want double <laughs> of their spirit, man. Because that's an example of putting, uh, 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 putting your life with the Lord in the heavens, man. That is an example of minding heavenly things instead of earthly things. They live in this truth. It's not a, it's not a weekend thing unto them. It's, this is their life. They breathe it. And that's being an example in Yahweh Bashem Yahshai. That's why it said, that's why Apostle Paul said, be followers of me as I am of the Lord. That's why we can follow them also in how they move and how they walk because we know that they are doing the right thing in the sight of the Most High, man. So if you follow their steps, it's going to lead us to the kingdom, man. That ain't no bad thing, man. That's, that's, that's beautiful, man. And the only way you're going to know a man of the Lord is if you know the Most High. Like it says in 1 John chapter 3, verse 1. Hereby we know that, uh, that uh, we are the sons of the Most High. But the world knoweth him not because it knew him not. Knoweth them not because it knew him not. You know, the heavenly father, the, the people don't know the heavenly father, so they cannot see the true man of the Lord. But it's all good because the scripture says what? Then shall it be known who, who are, whom are their prophets. Ezekiel chapter 2. Who are, who are the chosen? Ezekiel chapter 2. Grab that. First, uh, I believe it's verse 11. It says, um, then shall they know that the prophet had been among them. And then Goshen takes Ezekiel 33 says that. Uh, was it 33? Yeah, 33 and the last one. Oh, 33 verse 33. Ezekiel 33? Yeah. Yeah. This is uh, Ezekiel 33 verse 33. And when this cometh to pass, lo, it will come, then shall they know that a prophet had been among them. That's the one. That's Ezekiel. the one. But I think it's also Ezekiel said. Ezekiel 2. Yeah, Ezekiel that's what I'm saying. I thought it was also in Ezekiel 2. You know, then shall they know that a prophet had been among them. Eh? You know? You're going to be confronted with your own foolishness, man. You're going to be confronted with your own stubbornness. You understand? When these things shall come to pass, man. Okay? Habakkuk 1 and 5. Bring it out. Habakkuk 1 and 5. You go take a piss, man. Ezekiel 2. Yeah. Yeah. Habakkuk, which one first? Habakkuk. This is Habakkuk chapter 1, verse 5. Behold ye among the heathen, and regard and wonder marvelously. For I will work a work in your days, which ye will not believe, though it be told you. <laughs> though it be told you, man, ye will not believe it, but you're going to see it. Because you say, the heathen say, seeing is believing. Well, we speak about nuclear destruction. The Lord is going to make sure you see it up close. 
That's amazing. what you want, right? You want to see it to believe it, right? <coughs> You're going to see it up close then, man. There you go. You're allowed to headbutt the nuclear missile, man. See what happens. You understand? Headbutt the, 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 the blast fire. Go ahead, man. Look into it. It's going to burn your eyes out. Seeing is believing, right? You're going to be too late, man. You have to understand the service of the prophets came out early to tell you of these things, man. To tell you of the calamities that are to come. Okay? They are out here early, man. But guess what? They will not believe even though it be told them, man. You must be a dumbass to not believe a guy that says, Listen, man, there's a gang around the corner robbing people. Don't go to the right. It's better to go to the left cross the street and then go to the right hey man mind your own business man don't tell me what to do okay go ahead then man go straight and go right and see how you're gonna get robbed man you understand you're supposed to take heed to the man of the lord man they are inspired by the spirit because if it wasn't for the spirit of the most high i wouldn't be here out in the highways and byways doing this man you understand we come from all kinds of walks in life too man you know, but the spirit moved us to be out here in the streets. So don't don't disregard the message that we are bringing unto you, man. That's dumb. That's really dumb, man. Because do you see anyone else standing in the cold, brick cold, in the heat of the days, every Saturday teaching? Do you see anyone else doing that? No, because they don't they are not inspired by the spirit like that, man. The spirit of the Lord is not on them to speak about the words of the Bible, to speak about the prophecies, to speak about what is to come upon this earth, man. They don't have that. Why do we have it? This one woman she told me once, I told her, like, uh, does your brother know about um this truth? She says, nah, he ain't about that. He ain't about that. He's busy making music, rapping and stuff like that. I said, What do you think I was doing? That doesn't mean that he ain't gonna get it. I was doing the same carnal stuff. But guess what? I'm out in the highways and byways. If the most high has chosen you, you ain't gonna you ain't gonna do nothing against it, man. Okay? You are chosen. You don't choose him, he chooses you. So if the word, you know, if he hears the word, then hey, he might change his whole lifestyle. Because when I came in the truth in 2000, um, 2014 beginning of 2014 I was still making songs but I was I was uh, putting um, you know things of the truth in my lyrics but then later on I dropped that and I was like man let me just let me just focus man then I was thinking about making beats I was like let me make beats then let me cut the rapping out cut off the rapping and let, let me make beats and I was like, let, let me just focus on this truth man I gotta shut the fuck up, man. I gotta set up a camp. You understand? So then I moved from Norway, I moved back to Holland. And I was thinking about setting up a camp. Because I thought that Holland didn't have a camp. And then one guy told me, there's GMS Holland already. I was like, what? GMS Holland? Yeah, man. That same Saturday we went. And I never left. I never stopped coming. He did. But hey, that's, uh, that's his problem, man. Read the Hebrews. Hebrews 13, verse Verse 7. Remember them which have the rule over you, who have spoken unto you the word of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, whose faith follow considering the end of their conversation considering the end of their conversation that's what you got to do when you look at the elder apostles of great millstone you know you, you have to know and understand like hey the heavenly father has something beautiful awaiting those men in their old age okay they still doing what they're supposed to do dealing with the infirmities and all of that man they're still pushing hard you understand and there you got dudes still talking smack. Dudes still cussing out the elders and bosses, man. You're not in your right mind, man. You really got Satan on your ass, man. So yeah, like we got also it. Also with the Sakari. That's wanted... what I'm talking about. 
Fuck pieces that. of shit, man. Yeah, man. Pieces of shit. Is Nate still going out on the highways and byways? Of course. I don't know. No. I don't. I, 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 I haven't seen, seen that. He that already like... always sits there yes. on the stage. I don't see him go out on the highways and byways. So that also shows you, like, hey, it's really clear, you know, who the most I is dealing with. Because, like the brother said, you know, the elder apostles, you know, GMS, you know, been going at it for over 30 years, man. And they have General Johanna. <clears throat> General Johanna. When I came in in 2014, you already didn't see him back then. Not that much at all. You, you don't, you didn't even see him, man. He basically the head, the true head of the ISUPK is Captain Tazariak. That's the only one you see everywhere doing all the work. You know? What the, what the hell is Johanna doing, man? The only thing. General Pork Barrel. Gay, gay. <laughs> Gahena. He's Gehena, man. He's Damn. hell. General Gehena. The only thing he's doing is, is collecting the tights, man. That's the only thing he's doing. <laughs> but not our leaders. Not our... Because really, they are the, the true leaders of Israel nowadays, man. Yeah. Leading the flock. That's what a leader does. Example. And the scripture says, as the ruler of a people is, so uh, as the ruler is, so are the people. You understand? So what you see is great millstone in season out of season pushing videos okay pushing, pushing lessons going into prophecy and that's all because of the the spirit of the lord and by the laying on of the hands of the presbytery with the word presbytery goes into elders you understand Got it, huh? You know, and also uh, concerning uh, Bobolai Blackfish or GOCC, yeah. which, you know, GOCC has a, uh, has a branch over here in the Netherlands as well. You know, but they also stay inside. The scripture clearly says, you know, that we have to go in the highways and byways. And then you grab Matthew uh, 22, verse 9. This is Matthew 22. Verse 9, and it reads, Go ye therefore into the highways and byways, and as many as ye shall find fit to the marriage. Yeah, so what does it mean to go into the highways and byways? I mean, it means to go into the places you know, where the people do their daily things, buying, selling. You know, right now we're standing in the whiskey in the gate of the city, and the people walking by, you know, to and fro. You know, but the Heavenly Father commanded this man. You know, you can also read about it in Proverbs, the first chapter. So, to be in the spirit of the Heavenly Father means to do what he says to scriptures and to abide that by man. Yes, this is funny, man, that you that you say it like that. And because uh, the scripture also says, go to the marketplace, you know, the place of, of traffic where money exchanges are being made. And uh, we, we also went, this time period, we were in uh, Amsterdam, in the city. And where did you stand? Right across the, there, how do you call it? Uh, where the, the stock exchange is being uh, done because you had a, a bull right over there, you know. Also, here you have the uh, yeah, uh, what tra uh, trade, center. The trade center of Rotterdam. Didn't even think about that. Yeah, man. You have the scriptures. So, the Heavenly Father makes it very clear in the scriptures, you know, what to look out for, you know, concerning his man and who stand by his ways. You grab uh, like a read uh, No, it's scripture. Revelation 3. I think it's 3. 3, and I think it's 2 indeed. Because, you know, you yourself, you know, of course, we understand everything is directed by Yahweh Hashem Shai, but you yourself, you know, also have been given a brain man, to, to, to discern yourself, like, hey, are the camps that I'm watching, are they in line with, with what the scripture actually says, man? You know, are the men that proclaim to be, you know, apostles, are the men that claim, you know, to be prophets, are they really, you know, the men that they say that they are? This is Revelation. It's, uh, it's two, two and two, it's like here. Oh, two and two. Yeah. Revelation, chapter two, verse two, and it reads, I know thy works and thy labor and thy patience, but now thou canst not bear them which are evil. And thou hast tried them which say they are apostles and are not. Yeah, so if you, me for instance, talk about myself, you know, the first 
uh, let me say, camp that I actually was uh, acquainted towards was GOCC. But this, when I came there, the spirit was off, man. You know, they spoke about uh, 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 mermaids. No, that as well. <laughs> actually, yes, yes, yes. But not when I was there. So yeah. they, they they made it seem to be, you know, that only the so-called Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans, you know, was uh, 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 the Hebrew Israelites, and that you know they didn't talk about, you know, uh, Israelites also looking like Native nations. So in my spirit, I was like, hey, you know, this feels off. Like. I really feel like a desire you know, towards the Heavenly Father, but I don't feel like this is my place to be at. You know, then later on, I met this brother and he spoke about, hey, you, you might still be in, be an Israelite. And then my whole body started to like, you know, get goosebumps. And I'm like, hey, whoa, whoa, what you are saying is actually what I feel within myself. Like I feel a, a zeal towards the Heavenly Father, but back then I did not have the knowledge. Man. So I myself also went through a trying period, which I was looking you know, for the truth, you know, uh, who has the truth, you know, who is not having the truth. And eventually the Heavenly Father brought me to uh, the GMS, man. So you yourself also have to try the spirits of them that say that they are basically you know, doing the work of the Heavenly Father, man. Can you grab uh, Revelation, uh, it's like a first, a first John 4 and 1? It says, and are not and has found them liars. Exactly, man. You know, if, if, if Jesus C claims claims to have the truth, you know, why then does it say, I think it's uh, Isaiah chapter 30, verse 20, where it says that then I see thy teachers, you know? So how then are those teachers going to be found when they're sitting in a, in a freaking building, man? You know, which is not even that far away from, from this location, you know? So how, how then are we going to find those men unless you hear it from from, from hearsay, man. And the only reason I came in contact with them was through the colleague of my father. Because I spoke to my father about a little bit of things that I found out you know, through the internet, you know, about the, the, the real Israelites being dark-skinned people. I spoke to him about it, and then he said, yeah, colleague of mine believes believe the same thing. And then I got into contact with him, man. You see, so that that was the first, you know, uh, time I came into contact with, with, with a camp. You know, but then I found them out to be liars because then I found the brother who, who broke down the real name onto me, you know, and who started to suck with me as well through the spirit, man. You see? Yeah, the, where's the first John? Yeah, I got it. This is uh, first John 4, Isaiah, verse 1. Behold, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits, whether they are of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. John 6 and 63. Because many false prophets are gone out into the world. Yeah, so we have to try those people, whether they are really of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Hashem, man. You know, and, and the Spirit, you know, the Holy Spirit is the understanding of these scriptures. So having the understanding of these scriptures means that we have to discern, you know, to, the, to discern whether a man is, is really a man of the Lord, man. Uh, bring out the uh, John book, show. John chapter 6, verse 63. <laughs> it is the Spirit that quickeneth, the flesh profiteth nothing, the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. Yeah, and this is Yahweh Shai talking, man. And he said the words that he spoke towards us, which those words can be found in the scriptures, they are spirit and they are life. You know, so having the understanding of the scriptures, it pertains to the Holy Spirit. Man. You see? More good shorts. It's minus two. Walking with shorts. <laughs> You're walking with shorts, it's minus two, oh, man. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> He's minus a dollar two, is. minus two Celsius, by the way, you know? You Celsius. Uh, Not uh, Fahrenheit. <coughs> this is uh, Romans 8, verse 16. The Spirit itself bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Yeah, so having the understanding of these scriptures, we understand who are the true people of the scriptures, man. Also having the understanding of the scriptures, you know, we get, you know, the discernment given by the Heavenly Father to discern who is who is right and who is wrong. Huh? I'm with you. I'm with you. No, no, no. We don't like that. We don't like those games. Oh, wow. we don't like that. We don't like that. Oh, no, I'm just, oh, just, oh, it's coming up. You're good, bro. Yeah, yeah. We see that. We see you. I have no ill will, but we. This is a serious thing for us. You know? All right, cool, good. That's how you deal with it, yeah. Yeah, that's how I deal with it. Australia. 
It's not, it's not on his nose. Fuck that eating man. Brisa, this is this road must stand. Keep walking, man. It's a Roma stand for two. For I bear them record that they have a seal of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, but not according to knowledge. So, yeah, so going into what you were saying, that you had a seal uh, of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai and you were looking for the truth. You know, so the brother, he had it within himself, like, hey, I, I want to, uh, you know, I see that there is darkness, so I want to go to the light, <coughs> and I want to get to know Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. But he didn't uh, know at that time that the, what the real names were. But that's the thing that uh, our people have. Our people have this zeal. You know, the uh, churches are always filled with the so-called Blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans because we have that strong spiritual connection with uh, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, with the Most High. You know, and uh, Esau, he's uh, weaponizing everything. You know, putting fluoride in everything trying to calcify our, our pineal gland so that we are disconnected with the Most High. But we have that seal, man. Because you remember, because uh, remember you said uh, uh, by the real name, right? Yeah. So what they teach at UCC is that the name is Ahaya Asha Ahaya, yeah, yeah. which is the real translation in the Hebrew of uh, I, I am that I am. You know, but then I spoke to this brother, he said, how can, how, how can you, you know, pray to I am that I am? Talking to yourself, right? So is it not referring to he is that he is, which is Yahweh? Yeah. And then I was like, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> then I was like, let me join on to this. Like, and it took a while before I really, you know, went to the camp. But that seed was planted by the brother, man, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Yahshai, man. Just like uh, the scripture concerning uh, uh, Paul's, Paul and Apollos, man. You know, uh, the Paul's, Paul's uh, water, Paul's uh, uh, planet, yeah. Paul's the most high to give it the increase. Exactly. Yeah, man. Where was the I am that I am? Uh, uh, Exodus 6. But because that's crazy, because then that shows you really how the rest of that congregation is asleep. Yep. Yep, and, and it's, it's like a church over there, man. <clears throat> they sing, you know, they bring the food. Afterwards, they have a talk. You know, they have these chairs there, you know, in line. Children go to the back, play with the... Play with each other, and there's this uh, this young girl, then basically like 16 to 18 years old, that is you know, watching the children, you know, uh, the women there. So it's like a church, man. You know, you mean like a Christian church. Yeah. <laughs> so it's 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 not in line with how the scripture says that things need to be done, man. You know, but only afterwards, after you've been illuminated through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Yashai, you can discern. The wrong from the right, man. You know, that's why the men, you know, of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai are standing in the highways and byways to break these things down onto you, man. To right. tell you, like, this is wrong and this is right. That's you right, know, right. we show you the way, but if you don't want to walk in there, hey, it's your choice. Yeah, we tried our best. We, the blood is of our hands. You know, can you quickly bring out the Isaiah 30 and 20? This is Isaiah chapter 30, verse 20, and it reads, And now the Lord give you the bread of adversity. In the waters of affliction, mm -hmm. yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore, but thine eyes shall see thy teachers. Yes, yeah, so even though we go through trials and tribulations, afflictions, you know, the man that will be teaching us, you know, our people, you know, won't be standing in a, in a building no more, won't be standing, you know, in, in secret places, you know, because the Heavenly Father is pushing them to the forefront because he said, bid my people to the marriage, man. You know, stand ye in the highways and byways and bid them to the marriage, you know, bid them to the truth, bid them, you know, to the to the union that will happen when Shahawashai Shai comes back. Okay. You see? You know, just like uh, the brother was talking about, you know, you don't see General Johanna teaching anymore, uh, out there teaching, or uh, who else? Now, Alize, I don't see him out there teaching. <coughs> He's a piece of shit, man. He says his camp, his, um, his uh, recording gear and all of that stuff got <coughs> stolen, right? He says it got stolen. Please, Akiam, can y'all can y'all give us a donation? And you have to think about it, right? They get tights. They already get tights. Mm -hmm. On top of that, they have merchandise. 
They have sweaters, clothing line, and all of that type of stuff. Music videos. Music videos. But then you still ask for a donation when you have a little setback. Don't you have a whole treasury that you can take the money out from and buy new, new uh, camp gear? Cameras and standards and stuff like that. You're supposed to have thousands set up over there in the treasury to, to, to use to, um, to set up, uh, to buy new things from, man. Why you want to have a donation on top of the tights you already get? That's strange. You think about it. It shows why? you, man. That shows you, man. They're pieces of shit, man. Yep. Why would you need a whole professional camera setting, man? You know, this is a... Uh, what is this? Uh, and you don't even standard? have to buy, uh, ask for a donation. Because you got brothers in the camp, when they put some money together, Yes. You got it also, man. Exactly. Yeah, in your Come camp. out of your own pocket, man. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy, man. That's what we do as well. You know, but this standard is like... Use the world, 50. but don't abuse yeah. it, you know? Between 30 and 50, something like that. Then a phone. You know, you, and a phone, or if you buy a camera, a camera is like 260. Yeah, so 500 euros, you're, you're set, man. Yeah, man. It's not that difficult, man. 260, man, if, if, uh, if uh, all the brothers... You know, for example, if we would do it with the four of us, what would that be? About 260 euros with the four of us? Like 65 euros, 70 euros a piece. Yeah. It would be 75 it would, it would be easy to, be, to set up. You know? That's right. You can't miss no five, five, uh, <coughs> five tens, man. Come on, man. So they have a large congregation. You know how cheap it would be for them to just put that money together? to buy that shit, yeah, but they would have it in no time. But if you're so much better when someone else pays for it, it's yeah. actually 80 euros. Hey, I don't want to give up that. 80 times four is 260. Saying they got like 100. They got already 100 in their congregation. 240. Four times 60 is 240. Oh, yeah. <coughs> uh, uh, but they have they have uh, money to uh, pop bottles, uh, go to the yes. Passover. Yes. You know, have rap battles. But, but are they paying for Pay, it? Though? No, setting up musical music videos. You, but to make a music video costs expensive. a lot of money too, man. Yeah, but are they paying? They for have it? big ass cars <laughs> in the background. Yeah. Okay, we need a donation. Huh? Wait a minute. You need a donation. Right, man. Got, got, that, got, that's, uh, a, so that's a sign right there to get the fuck about this car. Got, got yeah, girls man. over there for the bazaar and uh, uh, G-strings and shit. Yeah, man. From a couple of years ago, drinking yeah. champagne, which is yeast. which Hennessy. has yeast in it. <laughs> they had Hennessy bottles there. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> they had bottles of liquor they were holding and shit. I'm like, bro, what is that? On the pass, rehearsing the, the righteous acts. Yeah, man. In the wrong way. But people still want to talk smack about GMS. What are we doing wrong? Tell we're us. Keeping it scriptural, what are we doing right? wrong? They hate we're him. We're kicking a... people out. That's what they're doing wrong. <laughs> and they're taking them in. Yeah, yeah, but what they, about they the fallouts? Have hey, but what about the fallouts for them? You know they got guys uh, falling out. Hey, not they got guys joining GMS, man. Yeah. We don't say nothing about that. Yeah. You got guys leaving GMS or uh, leaving IYC and joining onto GMS, man. Yeah. Do we say, hey, look at this? No. No, man. We just keep it spiritual. We, we keep it moving, keep, man. Yeah, we man. just teach, man. I think that's also something that uh, Aldo Manato Zakba from GMS South Carolina said, like. You know, there are, there are uh, uh, men out there joining on the, uh, onto these other camps thinking they have time, that they basically can be like, hey, you know, who, who do I want to join? No, man, the, the Heavenly Father, you know, like it says in Jeremiah chapter 29, I think it's verse 19, he sent out his prophets early, man. You know, so the uh, other apostles, Jim and down have been, you know, doing his work for a long time already. So the right spirit is already on the highways and byways for a long time, you know? <coughs> It doesn't take too much time to, to discern, you know, who is wrong and who is right, man. Precept. This is um, Romans, Romans 16, verse 17. Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause division and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned and avoid them. Yeah, so you have to basically point out those that are teaching things that are contrary to what we have learned from the other apostles on down, man. You know why? Because... Um, they be said by Al Bashir and Shah, man. You know, they they have been talking, you know, the one hundred percent truth for a long time, man. You know, so the truth is out there. You know, if you have wayward doctrines, you know that, like the brother said, creep in here and there. You know, barbello, you know, 
<laughs> yeah, but for barbell. <laughs> That's what I think about. Barbell. That's the only way I remind it. But if you, but, but those things eventually it's gonna it's gonna uh, heap followers onto them, man. You know. Yeah. But like it also says in the book of Acts. Remember the dude said. You can try and look it up, but you can find it nowhere. These are hidden names. <laughs> I was I was struggling because I didn't know how to type that yeah. shit. Grand, I didn't know grand, how to type. Grandma something. Grandma say. Kamar. You yeah, know yeah, what yeah, happened? Camera. Grandma holding a camera. I was like, oh shit, that's it. That ain't it, man. That's the one I couldn't find. But then, you know, you got brothers in Great Millstone. Found it elders. Elder, um, elder, um, elder, um, elder, um, Yashawamba. He found the Grandma Kamar. Grandma, come on! I didn't find that one. I found the the y'all double old and the <laughs> and the barbelo, man. Barbalo. You know. So brothers, team up and we find out like what you're all about now. All of a sudden, man, trying to lead people astray. The only thing we do is we bring out the facts. We bring out, you know, what it is all about, and what brothers do with it is up to themselves, man. If they want to follow that crap, hey, y'all wish I said what. Let the blind lead the blind, both shall fall into a ditch. So, hey, for us, it's all good with us, man. We are not we are not gonna have a sleepless night because you, you left the, the camp. We ain't gonna have that, man. And follow uh, Barbalo. <laughs> we ain't gonna have no sleepless nights, man. We're just gonna be like, hey, then it wasn't for you, man. They are not all Israel, let's say they are of Israel. You know, but and it better. was your lot to be deceived, man. The Lord has vessels of glory and vessels of wrath. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah, because yeah, also, um, you know, like the brother in, uh, I don't know where he's exactly from, but his page is GMS Teach What Is Taught. And if you just, just that's, um, that's uh, the brother, man, Yaramaya from uh, Chicago. But if you teach what is taught, then you can't go wrong, man. You know, that's holding on to, um, what does the scripture say, hold on to the uh, faithful right, word yeah. which we, which you have been taught, man. Yeah, yeah, man. man. <laughs> so, if you have those men that, that, that went to that agnosticism, because they was like, hey, there's got to be an edge to it, man. You know, I need, I need to find an edge. They, they carried, were trying to be deep. That's what yeah. they were trying to be. So, to be deep. that's being carried about with, 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 with that first doctrine is going to alter your mind. Be like, hey, yeah, man, this is deep, man. Hey. Illuminati, they must be up to something, you know, they're illuminated, right? Yeah. They must have something, something, something that these men don't have, you know? Can you bring out the Hebrews, uh, this is Hebrews 13, 9? 13, verse 9. Hebrews 13, verse 9. Be not carried about with diverse and strange doctrines, mm -hmm. for it is a good thing that the heart be established with grace, not with meats, which have not provided them <laughs> that have been occupied therein. Yeah, so it, it's not going to benefit you if you're going to be all over the place with all kind of doctrines, man. You know, the grace of the Lord, the Hawashai, you know, that's also something that is very sufficient, man. You know, if you're trying to be deep, you know, with, with, with things that have never been taught and you want to come up with something else, hey, the Heavenly Father might make you stumble, man. So if you just teach what was taught, basic things, simple things, man, think about this. Grow. You don't have to be deep. Man. You don't have to have you don't have to do this extra, extra stuff. Man. Like you got the, group, you had the dude from, um, what is that group again? They used to be GMS. Uh, Men of Valor. Men of Valor. With, with the war paint, with war paint on his face, man. The yellow, like, white, and the like, black. What are you doing, man? Bulletproof vest. With the bulletproof vest in the camp, all this crap, man. Stop doing all this extra shit, man. Nonsense, man. Now, where is he now? He, he gone too. He gone, man. I asked the elder, um, Elder Gabar, uh, Gabar Elder Gabar, yeah. I asked him, where is he know? at? He said he gone. Man. He you used know? to be in the in the main camp in New York. That's why it's also um, a fearful thing to be a teacher, man. Can you grab uh, James Tree? Because you set out an example, man. And if you are a man that really watched the Man of Valor guy, you know, and you was really down with his videos, and then he went off, you know, being strange in the spirit. Then you follow after him because you think he was dope. You know, he was wrong in his spirit. That's a fearful thing, man. You know, can you bring out the James? Because you're going to get the greater condemnation. Three and one. Sure. No, three and one. Hold your peace.
James chapter 3, verse 1, My brethren, be not many masters, knowing that we shall receive the greater condemnation. Yeah, so before you become a teacher, you really meditate about, you know, what it, what it means to be a teacher because you have a position, you know, of great responsibility, man. You know, you're going to teach other men concerning the things that you teach and put out on the, on the YouTube, man. Mother's gonna watch it, they're gonna run with it, teach it as well. The way that you behave yourself, it's gonna rub off to other people, man. You see, so if you're gonna put on a, a bulletproof vest, paint your face with, with, with war paint, men be watching that, they're gonna do the same thing, man. It's a strange fight, man. You know what's crazy is that uh, I, watched, I was watching one of his videos, and uh, I think it was the last video that I watched from him because it was crazy. While he was getting done with the lesson, um, the FBI was calling him. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he, he was put, still in the life. And then the FBI was calling him. And he was talking to him. Yeah, he was talking. Are to you him. still in town? And that was during no, no, no. the Jersey, uh, the D Jersey, uh, sh sh Jersey shooting uh, where you saw the signs, Yahusha is coming. Yeah, he says, no, I'm not in town right now. I'm working. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> That's crazy. He had a meeting set up. But whatever that was about, he did a video afterwards and to explain the thing. You know, because they wanted to ask him some questions because he's in New Jersey teaching. And they, they said it was an Israelite thing, you know, the guy that sh shoot up the, 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 the Jewish uh, kiosk, you know. So uh, they wanted to talk to him or whatever. But still, man, where is he now? Yeah. Yeah. That's the whole point, man. Where is he now, man? <laughs> Mr. M4. Yeah, that's why the scripture says that the end of the thing is better than the beginning, man. That's it, man. You can be the, the best teacher, you know, the most eloquent speaker, you know, flowing through the scriptures, knowing all the precepts. But what availed it if you don't even endure until the end, man? Yeah. Precept? Yeah. Count the cost, man. This is uh, Isaiah 52, verse 11. Depart ye, depart ye. Go ye out from tents, touch no unclean. And what they was doing also was they, they Apostle Rhymelop said, listen man, if you're taking guys in <coughs> that are kicked out of the main camp, then you're supposed to take GMS from your name, man. This guy was, there was a guy, and he was gone afterwards also from them. A dude was kicked out of the main camp, and then they took him in, being called Great Milster also. Then Apostle Rhymelop said, listen man, you either kick him out, or take GMS from your name. And that's when they changed their name to Man of Valor, just Man of Valor, because it used to be GMS Man of Valor. And then it changed to uh, Man, just Man of Valor. Wasn't that one guy kicked out in multiple camps? Yeah, there was a whole gathering of, of, of bogus dudes, man. He also had the DTA. DTA basically was asked like to become a part of GMS. And now you have the brother uh, GMS Shield of Faith, I forgot his name. But uh, he's now the camp leader of GMS uh, New Jersey, which he said like, well, why don't we just join on to GMS, man? Why do we have to be called DTA? Why do we have to have all the name? Let's just join on to them, man. You understand? Hello. Hi. Can I maybe make a picture of the ingredients? Picture like of the home. ingredients of yeah, the what? Yeah, he has yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, not coffee, but it's a stimulant, long-term effect. Like the, the... Okay, I got a scripture. This oh, is Isaiah. That, oh, that, uh, yes, that, uh, that mushroom stuff. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. This Isaiah, Isaiah 52, verse 11. Depart ye, depart ye. Um, Go ye out yes, from tents. Like Touch no unclean it's thing. Go ye out of the midst of her. Um, be ye clean that bear this, the vessels of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. Yeah, man. So, uh, this uh, touching no unclean thing is going into the philosophies so of these other nations. You know? So, like these so, men that are uh, that, that felt offended by the 100% doctrine, sound doctrine, you know, they wanted to yeah, be like, okay, I got something I even more deeper. Hey, what, what does Isa uh, has? <laughs> because there's that Gnosticism. <laughs> I, I looked so, it up yeah, also, I and I think it started at, yeah, at the Christians, you know, so it's from the, these heathens. Yeah, Gnosticism? Yeah, it's around the, the 300, 300 AD started. Yeah, but it's the drinking of fire. No, it's BC. It's BC. It's like, what they also say is like that the, 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 the Jacob's letter is, is like 
It has to do with like Christianity also comes from Jay. You understand? Yeah. Jay comes with uh, many doctrines and ways, man. That's why um, Gamaliel also spoke about Theodas. Theodas also set up a whole, whole doctrine. And and what did Gamaliel say? It is gonna come to naught, man. That's that came to naught. If it is not of the Most High, it's gonna yeah. come to naught. Yeah. And what happened with Gnosticism? It came to naught. Nobody in the world is following Gnosticism, man. Yeah. You understand? Nobody's following that, man, because it's trash. It goes into tantras. It goes into witchcraft. You know, yeah. saying, uh, man, it goes into a lot of nonsense. Just leave it. Because <coughs> that, that, that Barbalo, Grandma Kamar stuff that they are uh, calling out to, the that's a tantra, man. Which is like something you gotta repeat over and over again. It's like a spell. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah man. So, so we shouldn't touch any other. And, 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 and you know what's funny? They say we don't have the real Hebrew. Because they say these are the real names, right? And yes. GMS responded like that's not Hebrew. Because the Hebrew doesn't have no O and uh, no U, you know, that, yeah, that thing. Yeah. They said, we don't have the real Hebrew. But then they say, Grandma Kamar, Bahasham. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the ba what, where the Bahasham come from, right? Like, wait a minute. Where the Bahasham come from? Why are you still using that then? Yeah. Which means in the name of. Okay, why are you using that? That's some fucking demonic if we don't have shit. the real Hebrew, and, and, <laughs> come on. That's some demonic shit. Yeah, they say they don't demon. Man. Yeah, man. Ultimate that, demons. It's like what? Greek? <laughs> Father Roman? Demons. What is it? Uncle Rome. Yeah. <laughs> it started in, 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 uh, in Rome. Yeah. Rome. Yeah. The pagan <clears throat> Rome. Of, um, Holy Rome. Oh, that's what That was it came a small out. group. Yeah, that, that yeah, probably Holy... them niggas. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they most likely they're them, yeah. Them, <laughs> they probably <laughs> them, yeah. 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 Which, which they assign certain things in the scriptures as... Uh, like having to do with the, with the body. For instance, Jacob's ladder, 33 steps, 33 vertebrae in the, in the spinal column, things like that. You know, and that the... Uh, that the, the oil, basically the anointing of the Christ, is the chrism. You can rise up in the in, in the in the spinal cord has to go up to the to the to the cerebellum and then it gives this you know uh, 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 like this explosion in the brain. You're gonna have like that Christ consciousness. Yeah, yeah. Well, I just wanted to say that that kind of thing. That's what that 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 Gnosticism is going into, man. Yeah, Christ consciousness. That's is, um, making yourself Christ, making yourself the anointed. You in, in some sort of way can prolong your life by the way that you uh, uh, keep your um, vital uh, essence, which basically for the man they say that would be the sperm because that's how uh, life you know comes about. You know? Look, it says here: <clears throat> during the first three century centuries of Christianity, there was no central authority until after the conversation of the Roman Emperor Constantine. The great, which was Jake, in 312 CE, Christian communities start many different views. In the second central century CE, some groups now collectively referred to as Gnostics, Gnostic Christians, claim to have access to secret knowledge <laughs> about the nature of the universe, the nature of Christ, and what it, what it, his appearance on earth meant to believers. In the middle of the second century CE, a group of Christian leaders retroactively referred to as church fathers, Justin Mar Martyr, Irenaeus, Terulian, and others. That's them. <laughs> That's them. Wrote volumes. Oh, no, no, no. It's like it says, wrote volumes against the Gnostic Christians. The Gnostics, as well as church fathers, were educated in various schools of philosophy. Many of the schools shared theories of Plato, blah, 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 blah. Gnostics concepts mirror a modern school of philosophy known as existentialism. How and why do we exist? So basically, this also goes in, uh, into that Freemasonry, man. Yeah. Because within Freemasonry, they're also constantly questioning certain things. They're questioning mm -hmm. why do we live? Why do uh, we exist? Um, and that is also mentioned in the scriptures because it says, um, uh, no, in Acts, it 
says what? Um, Acts 17. When he went to the, basically to the philosophers. No, unknown. Unknown God. Yeah, that's yeah, 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 yeah. I have it. This is, um, this is, um, Acts chapter 17, verse 18. Then certain philosophers of the Epicureans and the Stoics, you know the Stoics, right? You have a lot of Stoic quotes out there, you know, which there are good quotes, but they was always philosophizing, like what, what would be the best way to live? Instead of just turning to the scriptures, yeah. they was all philosophizing, like for a man to be strong in his life, he has to do this, that, and that. Nah, shut the fuck up. Follow the scriptures, man. Follow the scriptures. That's what you're supposed to do. You understand? So there was always philosophizing, always, you know, going back and forth with each other. What is this, what is this about? What is that about? That's what the Freemasons is doing too. Sharing knowledge, right? Then certain philosophers of the Epicureans and the Stoics encountered him. And some said, what will be, the, what will this babbler say? <laughs> Meanwhile, they was babbling all day long, man. Okay, what will this babbler say? Other some, he seemeth to be a setter forth of strange gods, because he preached unto them Yahushai and the resurrection. And they took him and brought him out unto Arap Arapagus, saying, May we know what this new doctrine whereof thou speakest is? For thou bringest certain strange things to our ears. We would know, therefore, what these things mean. For all the Athenians and strangers which were there spent their time in nothing else but either to tell or to hear something new. Then Paul stood in the midst of Mars Hill and said, Ye men of Athens, I perceive that in all things ye are too superstitious. For as I passed by and beheld your devotion, I found an altar with the inscription to the unknown God, whom therefore ye ignorantly worship. Him declare I unto you, the most that had made the world and all things therein, seeing that he is Lord of heaven and earth, dwelleth not in temples made with hands. He cut the shit out of them, man. Oh, man. And the Apostle Paul wasn't no, was no soft guy, man. Apostle Paul was fierce, man. You know, the, uh, the, the disciples of the Lord, they feared him, man. Yeah. They feared uh, Paul. Yeah. Like, he was same pulling man no that was, Yeah, man. They was coming after the, 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 the so-called Christians, after the followers of Yahusha. Isn't it him? Yeah, man. When he uh, you know, was illuminated by the Lord Yahusha, he went on to teach for about a year until he met up with the disciples, man. Yep. Became apostles and then, like the brother said, you know, they, they was like, is this the same man that basically persecuted us at first? You know? But yeah, like yeah. the brother said, man, you you had our people now kind of kind of folly, man. And those men that was talking about Apostle Paul babbling, back in those days, during the, the Greek and the Roman time, those type of men were esteemed, you know, uh, 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 yeah. as very wise, man. You know, because those type of men, you know, they were of, of the upper echelon, basically guiding the government. Man. Yeah. Meanwhile, they was wicked pieces of shit that had no guidance, you know, because true guidance comes through the scriptures, man. You know, in this day and age, our guidance, you know, also comes from the scriptures. But right now, we have the 100% truth, man, which is given unto us by Al Bashim Yahushai, unto the man that he set up, starting up at Al the Apostle Jimmy Sandown, you know, who we learn from, man. You know, and, and we eventually, you know, we became their fruit, you know, yeah, one way or another, you see. So you shall know a tree by its fruit, you know, and like the brother also quoted in Surah chapter 10, you know, the way that a government is set up, you know, the people that basically pertain to that government are going to be the same, you see. So that shows you that if, the, if, if our elder apostles, you know, are diligent, you know, so are, are, are the men that follow after, man. You know, making videos, studying, you know, uh, uh, going in the highways and byways, you see? That's how you can, can discern whether a man is correct, man. If you already discern that certain things are off, how much more should that doctrine be off as well, man? That's why we can never be like-minded with these other camps. 
You see, because if one says there's not going to be no Jacob's trouble, but we stand firm and you say, yeah, there's going to be a time of Jacob's trouble and the whole world is going to be tried, and especially our people, because we're the most hated upon this earth, who are you going to believe then? <coughs> you see? I got a famous like, uh, and like the brother said, like seeing is believing, it's going to be too late, man. You're only going to be like, hey, you know, uh, uh, wasn't this man, you know, talking about this on the, on, on, on the street corners? You know, who, whose life we thought was madness? And we thought they had no job? Hey, Saturday, man. Shut the fuck up. Get a scripture. Okay. That's right. <laughs> this, is my, this is my ultimate scripture from back in the day. <laughs> Which is? Amos, Amos. 3 and 3. <laughs> oh, I know this. Pull it out for everything. Shit. On, I, got a, yeah. I got a scripture for you. I got a quick scripture. Uh, Amos 3 and 3. Say it like three times in one, one session? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Let's get it. This is Amos chapter 3, verse 3. Can two walk together? I don't even know why I need to read this. <laughs> you don't even have to read it. You can just, read it. <laughs> you can just say it. <laughs> Hey, I'm read it, you can just say Amos 3 and 3. Can two walk together except to be agreed? But you well, always read, read it, it with the passion, though. Yeah. Like, it's my scripture. <laughs> <laughs> right. Can, can two walk together except they be agreed? Go ahead. Uh. No, they can. Man. <laughs> you cannot walk together being in this truth. Mind. You know, with men that are not on the same page as you concerning the doctrine, man. Also, outside of this truth, man. Yeah, but You know, like, you can mingle <coughs> yourself a little bit here and there. Yeah, you can mingle yourself, but you're not going to openly nope. give your opinion, man. Yeah. Okay, that's why, that's what we are doing. Be wise as a serpent and harmless as a dove. We are not going to show the back part of our tongue. We ain't going to tell you all that we think and what we know, man. You understand? Because if we would do that... What would happen? People Fire. will separate you from their company. They're, they ain't gonna, gonna be down with that. You understand? Yeah. And, and that's when certain people that became friends, that are friends in the world, you know, they clash when something comes up that they don't fully agree on, man. And then they really don't hang around with each other no more because can two work together except they be agreed. So, you understand? So to your doctors, story. doctors hang around with doctors. Fighters hang around with fighters. You ain't gonna see no fighters hanging around with junkies that be smoking weed in the streets the whole day, man. You ain't gonna see, you know, athletes hanging around with drunkards, man. You understand? People that are in the, come on, man. Because because the, the athletes, that's a separation, man. Because the athletes gonna be hindered. You know, by the by the presence of the drunkard, because you want something to drink? Hey, yeah, come chill, man. Come chill, man. Hey, let's have something to drink, man. We want to fight. I want to fight. Want we'll, we'll, to go training. You know, be we'll disciplined about, concerning that. We we'll talk about fighting, come. But but the guys all drunk and shit. Yeah, man. You know, uh, you know, spilling drink all over you. Exactly. Talking about man. I remember last week, man. I did some crazy shit. <laughs> That's the same thing when, you know, you would have multiple doctrines in, this, in the same camp, man. Yeah, you know? the unity camps, right? Yeah. But we're not, going, we're not going to say the names, Lord, because I know I, I respect you, my brother. So we're going to stick with God. We're going to keep it universe in Jesus, right? We're going to Christ. Keep it with no, that. they say Christ. In Christ, yeah. Right? And then, because they don't, want to, they don't want to hurt each other's feelings. They don't want to have no confusion in the midst. Which yeah. it is confusion, man. Yeah. It is confusion, man. Because if it doesn't line up, then how can you teach? Yeah. Let's say this yeah, brother would teach a different doctrine than me. I would, I would correct him on what he's saying, and he's like, "No, man, this is what I believe." So why are we here together then? What I believe. You understand? This is what oh, it is. I feel. <laughs> there will be a clash right there, man. Uh, no, the other one is already long past. But I'm looking for the one concerning the prophet. Concerning the prophet. I'll read it. I'll say it. I'll say it. I'll say it. Um, Jeremiah 14 of 14. Well, for sure. Gotta highlight it. This is Jeremiah chapter 14, verse 14. Then the Lord said unto me. The prophets prophesy lies in my name. Mm -hmm. I sent them Thank not. <laughs> neither have I commanded them. Neither spake unto them. 
wat vinden ze het eigenlijk? Wat zei Deze Lees te kijken van wat, wat is dit voor... Um, de... Nou ja, misschien is het een beetje onbekend, maar ja. wat wij vertegenwoordigen zijn de echte Hebreeuwse Israëlieten. Oké. Okay. Dat zijn uh, eigenlijk niet de mensen die u eigenlijk nu ziet ja. in het Midden-Oosten, met die uh, hoedjes op. Ja, ja. Maar uh, dit zijn de Bijbelse kinderen van Israël. Oké. Okay. Je kunt ze hier zien. Ja. En aan de andere kant ja. staan ze hoe ze er tegenwoordig uitzien ja. en wie ze eigenlijk zijn. Okay. Dus eigenlijk de, ja, de African-Americans, zoals ze genoemd worden. Ja, maar dat is niet van de Bijbel dan? Of zo? Jawel. Ja. Oh, wel. Okay. Dit, is de, dit is zeg maar de, de echte kinderen van Israël. Oh, Oké, okay, ja. Dit ja, is ja. zeg maar wat de wereld eigenlijk, uh, wat lang, lang voor de wereld verborgen is. Ja. Maar wat nu eigenlijk al... Ja, ik zit ook dik voor iemand daar van lezen. Vanaf, vanaf 1970 is eigenlijk deze informatie langzaam naar buiten aan het komen. Ja. En de hele wereld gaat eigenlijk weten wie de echte kinderen van Israël zijn. Ja, ja. En die gaan in hun land gezet worden door, uh, door God. Ja. Ik volg ook iemand op uh, TikTok van ook op TikTok. Is goed, dank u wel. Absoluut. Kun je go back to. Ja, uh... yeah, so this woman asked us what we actually uh, you know, represent. And I told her that we represent the real Hebrew Israelites. You know, not those people that are in the land right now, which is, you know, which are the small heads. <coughs> But. Uh, That the root chosen people of the Heavenly Father are on the tribe sign, yeah, which are the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you know, in this day and age. And uh, that the Heavenly Father is uh, spreading his, his, his truth upon this earth, and that he's about to set his, uh, his people in his land, man, by his, by his power, man. And not by uh, some, uh, some declaration, which is called the Belfort Declaration, man. You know? You guys decide, huh? I just show man, hey, this, I don't know how people can smoke that shit, man. Cigarettes? God damn, this shit stinks. Horrible. <coughs> Anyways, going back to Jeremiah chapter 14, verse 14. <coughs> the Lord said unto me, the prophets prophesied lies in my name. I sent them not, neither have I commanded them, neither spake unto them. They prophesy unto you a false vision and a definition and a thing of not and a and the deceit of their heart. Yeah, so here Jeremiah is saying is that you know certain prophets, you know, that are calling themselves to be prophets and, and saying certain things in the name of the Heavenly Father, you know, have not been sent by the Heavenly Father and the things that they say is incorrect. So the Heavenly Father has sent them not and they actually are lying. You know, and if you are lying as a as, as a head, you know, of a, of a, of a camp, you know, or, or a, how you want to say that, you know, call call like IBC, IUC, how you call it, a like camp, yeah. organization, Organ yeah, like like organization. If you are the head of, of, of those organizations, you know, you tell the people lies, and you don't forewarn them about the things that is to come. Their blood's gonna be upon your own head, man. And the same thing that. I started off with is like you can through the spirit, you know, discern which men are the men of the Lord. You know, if they already don't match the fact that they don't send to the highways and byways, how much more, you know, are the things that they're gonna say come out of their mouth is gonna be 100% true. You know, of course, you have those that you know are, are affiliated with GMS or that follow the doctrine of GMS and they want to be keyboard warriors. You know, and we have keyboard uh, prophets. Yeah, man, and, and we have been warning them as well. If you Facebook have Israelites, we yeah. got them also. Remember when yeah. we came in? Yeah, we was battling. Them we all was on the time. Facebook, you know, talking to these dumbass dudes that be teaching on Facebook and stuff like that. Man. Hey, but you know what's crazy? One brother, he was uh, doing that. And <laughs> Israel, Israel, seven, 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 right? We were battling. Me, him, were battling. Shalom. And look at him now. That, that brother is a uh, part of GMS. Yeah, yeah. I know he what you're talking. He on fire. Yeah, he's on fire. They I remember him. He's battling him. I rem <laughs> yeah, I was not battling him. Really, I just, you know, he used to be we were going back and forth. Right? Yeah, he used to uh, speak in the streets with a speaker and stuff like that. Big beard. And then we Christianity. asked him. He said he's, he's a be, gadite. He said he was teaching on the street. So we said, "What oh, you were teaching? Where were you were teaching?" Never get an answer, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. That's uh, Shalom Israel 777. Yeah, man. I think he's GMS uh, Pennsylvania or something. Still so teaching with, the, with two, either two or three men. But camp. that, yeah, I remember that time. Because I would come yeah. to you about it. I'd be like, yo. You had groups on, on Facebook. You had groups on Facebook, uh, you know, teaching and stuff like that, doing this type of thing. Oh, that was like when I. 
first came in too, man. Yeah. Oh. Yes, man. Beautiful times. Man. Yeah, if you uh, proclaim to be uh, sent by the Heavenly Father, you don't prophesy the truth, man. Got pizza? Then you got death on your hands, man. Blood. Right right here. This is Ezekiel chapter 13, verse 9. And mine hand shall be upon the prophets that see vanity and that divine lies. There shall not be in the assembly of my people, neither shall they be written in the like it, neither shall they be written in the writing of the house of Israel, neither shall they enter into the land of Israel. Damn. And ye shall know that I am the Lord Yahweh. So what does that mean for those those men? It's big lies. They're gonna die, man. Yeah. Yeah, that brother. <laughs> They're gonna die, man. It's old school, you know. Man. And then I see him part of JMS. I was like, hey, I used to battle with this brother right here. Not like battling, like um, you know, being evil towards each other, but you know, we we would uh, Go debate. Over scriptures. Yeah, yeah debate. Man. Yeah. Debate. You used to have the Jeremiah. He used to be cool with Queen B. He yep. used to talk a lot with Queen B. Yeah. And then uh, he asked me uh, how he was doing. This was maybe five, six years ago. Six years, seven years maybe. And then I, uh, I told him like, uh, he's gone, man. He fell out. He's like, what? Yeah, man, he fell out, man. Yeah, man. Sometimes dudes fall out that you will, will never really think about falling out of this truth, man. But hey, Satan, man. Satan snatch you up and that's it. When the most I says it's a wrap for him, go ahead, do it. Yeah, man. Then, then it's a wrap, man. Nobody can resist the will of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashan El Shai, man. That's why it's a fearful thing to be in the hands of the most high. Yeah, man. Because you might just wake up one day and not feel anything about this truth no more. Or think like, man, I don't believe in it. Yeah. You might just wake up one day and have that, man. That's why we gotta stay prayed up, man. Yeah, that's why when Watch I wake as up, well I as get... pray, man. You gotta keep the fire on, man. You gotta keep filling up the, the oil lamp, man. Watch your brother's videos, you know. Yeah, man. Stay occupied. Yep. Occupied till I come, man. Yep. Let the scriptures flow through, through your body, man. Yep. Keep, that, keep that dose, man. Copy your mouth, man. Bless to see that read it. The scripture says. You remember, you see the, the, the videos like in the. Uh, 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 going to uh, America, you know what uh, Eddie Murphy was called? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Going to America. Yeah. Coming to America. That remind Coming to America, me of yeah. one of them dudes with bald head and shit. <laughs> yeah. Talking that shit, but he looked fucked up. <laughs> it's the only difference. We got into Jeremiah. Oh, for sure. I don't know, drop it. Yes, I saw oh, that. Man. I saw that. That's what you're doing. <laughs> I don't know, I think it's cold, right? <laughs> my, my feet is cold, too. Hey, my pages is sticking, Akim. I think we need to wrap this up. <laughs> yeah, that, who was that again that said that? That's an old quote. IOIC, I think. No, 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 it was not IOIC. I think it was um, ISUPK. He said, it don't make no sense to go out in the highways and byways in the winter time because the pages is sticking together. You cannot do anything with it. And then, then we always used to say, hey, Akim. The pages is sticking, remember? Yeah. Hey, okay, the pages is sticking. That's the old joke, man. Yeah, yeah man, that's the old one. Like, hey, the, the pages is sticking. And then IYC said, I can't do that. it don't make no sense to go out in the winter time. Ain't nobody out there. Yo, man, the busiest periods in the in city the is in the winter time, man. Yeah. You got people who are, you know, going out for Christmas stuff. And st man, what else you gonna do? You know, people is out there, man, in the winter time. Everybody it's freezing now, man. It's minus two. Maybe it's minus three now, I don't know. Still people out Maybe it went down more because when it gets dark, yeah, you know, it gets colder. But it's been last freezing the last couple of nights, cold. man. Minus five Celsius, you know. Yeah. And then Esau be saying like, I mean, IYC be saying like, who the fuck gonna stand out there in the winter time, man? That's not wise, man, that's not wise. <laughs> but really, construction workers ain't stopping with work. You got Esau still busy constructing. You got Esau ain't stopping. You understand? So why should we? We workers of Yahweh Shai. Of course, my point. 
that it shows you the spirit that they're in, that they're not according to Yahweh Hashem Yashai, because Scripture says in season and out of season, man. Yep. What so, about that? And of course, hey, we got GMS Alaska, man. Yeah. Big respect Every to those day. brothers, man. They teach it. I used to live. I know where they teach when I was teaching. I was like, oh yeah, that's over there by uh, Fifth Avenue. You know. Cool, that's ice. We got yeah. the sacrifice. Ooh. That's what it is, man. We got to sacrifice, man. Present your bodies as a living sacrifice unto the Lord, man. You understand? You got brothers in Toronto. Toronto is freezing. It's right there next to Alaska. I mean, yeah, yeah. it's the same. It's basically, same, the same hemisphere. Canada. Atmosphere, yeah. yeah atmosphere. The north. Yeah, man. Right so, brothers putting in work, man. <coughs> Whether cool or hot, we will be out there. Hey, you understand? <laughs> Wait a minute, but what that scripture, what it says about be in season, out of season, that was for that time. <laughs> yeah, that is for Israel. That, that's there. what a nigga would say. In Israel, it is not minus uh, so many degrees, but, yeah. you know. It's cold there, man, when the sun goes down. Yeah, but not, not freezing temperatures. Not no freezing temperatures, man. You know, and the reason it's, it's, it's cold over there is because they don't have no heating either. There's no reason to have heaters in the house. And I, I see those. I was in Spain. I was in the south of Spain uh, to for a baseball competition, and then uh, we were sleeping in uh, in rooms. We were sleeping in rooms, and the rooms ain't got no no heater, man. It was cold as shit, man. Through the shaking in the bed, cold as fuck, man. You know, because they're like, I mean, of course there are no heaters here. Majority of the time, it, it's it's hot. The majority of the time, it's hot. Yeah. Do you have a question? Yeah, yeah maybe. Um, well, we're standing here in the highways and byways like the Bible tells us to. Uh -huh. um, okay. We're forewarning our people concerning the nuclear destruction to come, and we're telling also our people, you know, who they are, you know, as a people, instead of the names that they have been given, you know, when they was uh, put in slavery. Okay. Yeah. So, you believe World War Three is coming? Okay. World War Three? Do you believe that? World do I War believe? I mean, I imagine in the next. Yeah. You can see it, right? Yeah, maybe uh, it's or maybe it's closer, it's closer, closer than you think. Closer, it's closer than you yeah, think, yeah. Because the Bible speaks about. Yeah. Grab that scripture. Yeah. The second yeah. world. Yeah. Oh wow, you know it, I guess. Yeah. Wow, nice. Nice, nice copies yeah. of the Bible. The Bible says like really two well woes. Worn. Two woes is passed, and the third one coming quickly. So the Bible is a book of prophecy. So yeah. it, it predicts the future. Yeah. Okay. So the Bible literally says that yeah. the Third World War is about to come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You understand? And this yeah. is this was a book that is written more than two thousand years ago, <laughs> which the, the the writers of the book said that they knew that they was not speaking for their time, but for those that would live in the last days, which we are in the last days. Is that why there's been well two world wars yes. in two. the last hundred years? Yeah, yeah. And now feel like we're pretty close in time. Yeah. If it's like. 2,000 years ago since the prophecy was now made. The of, it's all happening pretty yeah. quickly. Now what, you see, what counts for that? Is there, is there like a indication of why that is? What you mean? Like why all the wars have happened in like the last 100 years and not in the 1,900 years before well, that? Well, you have to look at how yeah. quickly technology has evolved. Uh, you understand? Okay. So yeah. what the Heavenly Father is doing, grab the scripture that says um, in Isaiah, yeah. it says uh, the, the so Smith. Yeah, because yeah. really the... the um, the scientist that has been set up to create this nuclear weapon, the Heavenly Father has put it in his mind to create that weapon of mass destruction. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. It was their so-called invention, but what does this weapon do yeah. to the world? Yeah. You understand? It's only to destroy. Now, the Bible says, grab also 2 Peter, grab 2 Peter chapter 3. It says the first death was by water in the time of Noah, right? The second death is going to be by fire. So the Heavenly Father has a way of resetting humanity. The first time, only eight people got saved. Noah, his three sons, and their wives. Okay, but now it speaks about the destruction again, wherein people that are not living right in the sight of the Most High are, are really going to die. And that is going to go by the hand of thermonuclear destruction. Read. The woes. This is Revelation chapter 11 and verse 14. The second war is bad. The second world war is bad because a woe means woe means destruction. And behold, the third woe cometh quickly. Yeah, so the Bible prophesies about the things to come. Another thing that the Bible prophesies about is that they want to implement a chip into your hand. 
the payment system. We have Revelation chapter 13. Well, I've heard of this. Well, the payment yeah. system is going to change. You see that everything is digitalizing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Um, so they are now busy with the microchip, yeah. which is going to be placed underneath your skin. Right. Okay, where which you can buy and sell. Remember, you used to have to, you used to uh, put your debit card in the machine. Mm. and then put the code but nowadays you can just hold it against it and now they transferred it to the phone you just hold your phone against mm. it but that is watch. all that is or your watch that mm. is all they are gearing you up mm. to put your hand against it because mm -hmm. it says that, that they want to uh, chip you in your hand which yeah, yeah. in denmark there are already companies that force their people their employees to chip themselves to enter into buildings and they say it's for security yeah. okay they want to digitalize um, um, uh, everything and they want to put away cash to control because if you go into the word government government means to govern means to control meant goes to the Spanish word mente which means mind they want to control you okay so if if I if you tell me um, I'm an electrician right and you tell me yeah I, I need my lamps to be fixed in the house I should give you some cash you know that cash that you give me is without tax. Mm. I get it straight in my pocket. Yeah, yeah. So the government has no control over that money that you give yeah. to me. Yeah, but he yeah. wants to tax everything. Yeah, now, yeah, if he yeah. puts away cash and everything is digital, yeah. he can monetize everything and he can yeah. get his money. That's yeah. also the reason that they pushed that feminine, uh, feminine uh, movement, wherein they said, yeah, in the 1960s, wherein they said uh, women are allowed to work also. Yeah. Why is that? Now he can tax two genders. Yeah. He can tax the man and the woman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And who controls the money? Yeah. Now, now people say things are becoming more expensive, but not realizing that the, the value of the money is losing its power. Yeah. They control the money, so they trick the women uh, 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 by now having to pay taxes because yeah. you guys wanted your rights. Yeah, yeah. You wanted to choose who you want to marry, where you want to work. Well, you got those opportunities. It was now. a trap. It was a trap because before then, before the 1960s. You didn't pay taxes. Yeah. yeah. It was just uh, a, a house taxes. was just ruled by the man yeah. alone and he could easily manage it. Okay, so. Uh, who, who's, can I say who's one more? Day? The elites. Basically, look, elites. you got the elites, you got the Bilderbergs, the Oppenheimers, Duponts, Geddes, Geddes, Rothschilds, Rockefellers. Yeah, yeah they, they like the owners of the banks. The owners of the bank, they got like old money. Like, if they would drop a million, the dollars or euros on They're the ground like it would trillions. it would the time to pick it up would cost them more money if they yeah. they could just yeah, yeah, keep yeah. walking it's, it yeah, would spend yeah, yeah. It, they would have to live millions of years in order to finish their money they have so much money you know because they go back that goes back to the to the the how you call it to fund slavery they funded slavery back in the days they got that money still so give me the second peters so where are you from you're the far few where are we from? Yeah, and what yeah, country you live? I live here. You know? live here? Yeah, Rotterdam. Yeah. Oh, yep. me too. But you, yeah, your voice is so. And you, all of you. Yeah, well, we can yeah. open Nederlands yeah. We can also speak Dutch. Yeah, but also really. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. 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 Thank Whereby the world that then was being overflowed with water perished. Yeah, the world, the old <laughs> world, um, in the time of Noah, it perished by water. It was overflowed by water, and this is a known thing amongst a lot of uh, nations. Uh, they speak about the flood. Iranians, they all have their own story about the flood. Um, but the Bible speaks about the flood also, of course. Read on, verse seven. But the heavens and the earth, which are now. But the same word are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment. Yeah, so so people say we are not living in biblical times no more. But this never happened. This speaking about the time of judgment that is got, that is reserved unto fire. Okay, now the scriptures speak about that nuclear fire that the Lord is gonna bring. Also, um, there was this 60-minute documentary of the government. Wherein they, um, the government of America, wherein they spoke about the files that they have concerning so-called UFOs. They're, they have a lot of proof that uh, we already have been visited by extraterrestrials. Or like, you know, so what they aliens. call aliens. The word aliens really goes back to the Greek word, which means stranger. They don't know who, who they are, right? So, 
the Bible speaks about uh, the so-called UFOs as uh, vehicles of the angels of the of the of the Most High, which Ezekiel chapter one says that inside of those vehicles you have dark-skinned men. Believe it or not, the Bible says that the angels are dark-skinned men. Okay, yeah. this it says their skin is like brass. What color is brass? Bronze. Bronze. That's brown. You understand? So there's a lot of things that Christianity doesn't teach you, which we we can go into the history. We can go back to the times of Moses and speak on that. We can also speak on the prophecies and the things that are, are to come, you know, to explain what this truth is all about. You know, it's not uh, Christians or the church speaks about, you know, prosperity and making money and you know living a good life we speak about living a good life also yeah. but we are speaking about what is to come to this world and that's why we are prophesying prophesy means to say before it happens pro means before and for sign means to say so give me real quick that revelation uh, 13 this is revelation about that chip that they also got the word oh, yeah, yeah. yeah this is revelation chapter 13 starting at verse 16 and he caused it all both small and great. Read, read 15, verse 15. This is Revelation chapter 13, verse 15. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. Yeah, so the image of the beast is this beast system. So they are trying to create, a, set up a new world order, which they want everyone to follow that image on how they find the world that the world has to be, so to speak. So that's that, that image. Follow this image. This is how we want the world to be set up. Go on. That the image of the beast should both speak and the cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Yeah, so they are going to push. What they are busy with is a, is a technique, which is called order ab chaos. So they want to create chaos in order to get control over people. Because what, what does a sheep herd their dog do? Uh, this dog, he scares the sheep. So now he is able to control the sheep and put them in the bar. He, he kind of snaps at them, bites certain sheep, not hard, but that's how he gets control. So what happened during this, um, I cannot say it on camera, but I always say C19, you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, the thing that happened, if we, if we say it on camera, they take, take down the video. So- And who's they? Also, to come, everyone, everything online. Everyone. Our our channels get terminated. This is. Uh, and what's your channel? On no, YouTube. GMS South Holland. Yeah. You have the, is you it have the QR code? Oh, yeah, GMS no. South Holland. Yeah, the QR yeah, code. I'll make it. <laughs> if you go to YouTube, you can just type yes. it in. We live right live now. Too. Yeah, we so live stream right. You can get warm. <laughs> <they come> up. <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> yes, you can. What church do you go? This is the church. Yeah, yeah, this, okay. is, this is the church. So not one place where you all like. No, we, it's everywhere. It's we, just we only of, of course, we gather together. <laughs> you know, the, the the ones that are part of us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We gather together. Oh, we gather together, but we don't have like one place one where place. we no, no, where we congregate. Anymore. We just congregate amongst each other. But the word church. Yeah. Hey, I don't have it. Yeah. But then you should save it because if you don't save it, then you know. You're <laughs> yeah. Okay. Wait. I don't know it right now. Okay. The okay. word church means to call out. So um, give them the revelation. This is Revelation chapter um, 13 and verse 16. Yeah. And he caused it all, both small and great, rich and poor. Small and great, so whether you are of a high status or low status, whether you are rich or poor, read on. Uh, free and bond. Whether you are in prison or where you are, or whether you are free, read on. To receive a mark in their right hand. To receive a mark in their right hand. Or in their forehead. Yeah. Which is which? That's referring to that uh, chip in your hand or in your brain, okay? Because when you go into that word word mark, we also read the Greek and the Hebrew. The word mark in the Greek is karagma, which karagma means an incision under the skin, okay? So they wanna uh, uh, chip you because it's gonna say what you're gonna do with that incision under the skin. Read. Can I say something uh, concerning the scripture? Yeah. Because uh, uh, he also explained that right now they're preparing the society to eventually implement this technology. But if in the in the Greek you go to the word cause it, where it says, uh, and he caused it all, there it explains you that it's, it's being uh, prepared. Yeah. Prepared beforehand. Yeah, it's being prepared. <coughs> go on. Uh, verse 17, and that no man might buy or sell. Okay, so it says, if you don't have this device in your hand, you cannot buy or sell, because this whole monetary system is going towards that. You need to pay digital, you need to, 
you know there's there will be no cash and eventually you only payment system which the image of the beast pushes is that chip go on save he that had the mark so you cannot buy or sell save he meaning that's old english for only only, exactly. only him go uh, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name mm -hmm. here's wisdom let him okay let so him. now so this is concerning the mark now here's wisdom now you have to understand where it comes from read and grab someone grab a uh, barcode Someone have a barcode, you have a barcode um, Here's wisdom, that him that hath understanding count the number of the beast. It says that him that books. has understanding count the number of the beast. Okay, For it is the number of a man. It's the number of a man. And his okay, number yeah. is 600. Okay, the three number? 600. Three score. Three score, one score is 20. So three score is 60. So 600, 60. And six. And six. So that's 666. Six, six. Now, let him that has understanding count the number of the beast. So the number of the beast is 666, six, six, which is the number of a man. It's not like a devil sitting on a throne with horns underneath the ground. It's the number of a man. Now, which man are we talking about? So here we have a barcode, right? So do you see the first lines? It has no number on it. The middle lines, the two thin lines, has no number on it, and the last doesn't have a number on it neither. All the other ones are numbered. Now, if we look at this six over here, it's two thin lines, because the zero is the thick one and the one uh, thin one. So really, what you, if you would scan it, it would pop up six, six, six. So every product in this society has a barcode which is six, six, six. And they're all the same. No, this my, I know my apocrypher has a six so i can prove it with yeah. showing you the six and also, then six. and you see the there two thin lines it's yeah. okay so and then you have it in the middle also you have the six and the six and the six so all the products water the put their product inside of you yeah. you understand <clears throat> which which um we are the children of of the most high yeah. so we he owns us children of, children of who of the most high of god Oh, I see. Okay, you yeah, see, yeah. so but if we now um, take this this mark, yeah. it goes into badge of servitude, so that we are his. We are of this government. We, we they own us. There are many movies out there nowadays that show you um, the, these devices in the hand. If you watch this movie, Upgrade. Have you seen it? Upgrade? No, let's uh, see on Netflix. it. On Netflix. It's, is it on Netflix? Yeah, it was on Netflix. It's called Upgrade. This man, he crashes because they subliminally... subliminally um, ah, this, uh, he, uh, yeah, I already started And it. his wife yeah. dies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He crashes with the electrical vehicle that is driving on its own. They let it crash yeah. so they can experiment with him because he's paralyzed from the neck down. And then they implement a chip into his body and now he can stand and walk again. This is technology that is being brought out nowadays. Um, like people with bionicle arms get a brain chip. What did it say? In the hand or in the uh, head? They get a brain chip and with the brain chip they can move their uh, bionicle Neuralink. limbs. Yeah. Neuralink Elon is Musk. also... Yeah, and then Elon Musk is also busy with the Neuralink, with the brain chip. Yeah. Military forces are receiving... Yeah, and all yeah. yeah. So military forces are getting brain chips because when they are on a mission, and someone gets injured they say abort mission right but now they can tweak with the chip they can tweak what they are going to do and they're going to continue the mission. no emotions are involved they shut down the emotions this, this was, uh, they, uh, it's a very good movie watch the movie again with yeah. this what we yeah, said and they yeah gonna... and, and we're going to lick you up and we're going to yeah, yeah. Spend their night. <laughs> <laughs> can I, can I, can I, I share this ice. also, this word mark? Um, yeah. It's very important because it goes back to the Greek. I, I just said that, the rock mark. Yeah, yeah, but then it also goes into the etym etymology about the word grapho. Oh, grapho, and now yeah. That, now this uh, word grapho, which yeah, this yeah, was spoken yeah, upon 2,000 years ago. Well, it tells you right here in the Strong's uh, uh, biblical the word, usage. Yeah. Yeah. Which the word grafo goes into uh, this, um, you know this um, this art technique, where they, where you have clay, 
and then you have these scalping tools where which you can take out the clay right sculpting that's the same show them the yeah, tool yeah, syringe, yeah. where with the syringe you show them the the syringe where with they push this chip into Very the body it's the sim it's the same yeah and the, and the word grafo is actually the, the 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 chip which right here it says um grafo and i go to the bottom right here it says uh in d it says to write to one by writing written epistle to give information and yeah. what does the chip have it has information about your yeah. where you live where you're born how old you are your so identification uh, your, your health, insurance, health insurance your bank account number yeah. everything because yeah. uh, they say when you are hit by a car for example and you're unconscious they scan your chip they know your blood group they know your medical information right. It's already here. Look, thousands of years ago. This Think is about the it. syringe, and this is the chip that is going to come underneath you. Yeah. Oh. yeah, it's already there. Yeah. Um, yeah. Then we've got to get going now. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. 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 Okay, have a yeah, nice day. I'm going to yeah. find yeah. you. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Later, man. Bye. 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 Yeah, man, so with that, we want to give all praises, glory, and the highest honor to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Rakakadash. Double honors to the other apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to the elect. Shalom.